Hello, hello. Let's wait a bit that everyone is coming. And let's try this experiment. I'm gonna explain. Alright, let's start. So, what's special about today is I have set up um, a camera. Uh, I mean, hello, if you can see me here. This is my MacBook camera, but uh, I, yeah, I have a nice setup. I have a mic and I have a nice camera here, which is zooming right now, but uh, zooming to my plotter. So here is the plotter. It's a A3, Axidro A3, which allows me to do A3 dimension of, of uh, plots. And yeah, we have some papers. We have some pencils. So yeah, let's do something. So indeed, I have nothing. Uh, I have nothing to plot right now, so let's just try to start with some basic plots. And I can share my screen. So yeah, I think with this setup, I will have to, uh, to cut, uh, to show you that part to be the plot. So I think I should make a, a landscape a version, which I used to have, but yeah, I think it will be easier. All right, so let's do it like that. And let's start. So uh, I think uh, when I will plot something, it will be nice to get that a bit bigger. But anyway, I think we are, we are set up. So let's write some code. I don't know why I have this padding here. I think I can do that. Tweak a bit the sizing of everything. <laughs> All right. I hope my uh, my computer will be will be okay with all these uh, streams because I have uh, two cameras uh, and I'm gonna stop my own preview so I don't see myself. All right. So I'm gonna start with something really simple, which is going to be a, a parametric function. Um, just before I start, uh, what I'm doing here uh, is, indeed we have, we have our plot, uh, our plotter, uh, where we will be able to, to draw with some uh, pencils uh, something. But, uh, hello Paul. Nice, uh, nice to have you here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing something a bit experimental today. Uh, I have my plotter, I have my code here. So let's uh, let's uh, try to write some code, generate some SVG, and then give that SVG to Inkscape so it can uh, send to the machine uh, some plots. Uh, and what's gonna be interesting is uh, the challenge for me today is tonight is to 
to to continue uh, to continue to to continue to the next plot uh, and the goal is to have the code finished before the before the end, the plot ends <laughs> so it's gonna be a race between me and my machine uh, maybe I, I I can cheat a bit on the on the plot uh, <laughs> speed but anyway that's gonna be fun so we need to we need to start with something uh, simple so I can quickly uh, start the plotting uh, and I think we can easily do. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, parametric function. So what's a parametric function? It's just a, a function that takes some parameters. So usually it just takes one value from zero to one, and uh, and it gives you it, it gives me a, a, an x and y coordinate. Uh, and essentially, essentially you can do a, a, a bunch of interesting functions, usually with trigonometry. So yeah, we can try. Uh, we can try something like that. Uh, I already did a few, so it should be straightforward. So yeah, let's ju just have a function. Just gonna call, call it f. So yeah, I think it can take a, a value uh, v. Oh, usually we, we we use p, I think. So it's gonna be a float, a double, and it's gonna return. And we'll just we'll just uh, line we'll just do a, a line two uh, between all the positions. So yeah, I, I think for now we can do that. All right. So uh, here we don't really need all of this stuff. So I'm gonna drop that. All right. So this is my uh, template. Uh, just have some. Just have one path, SVG path, and uh, yeah, we can essentially focus on the data. So the data that of the path. Uh, so yeah, I think we can easily do a for loop. Uh, we will need some granularity. So how much points at the end? How, how much points do we need to calculate? So I think we can. Uh, we can start with, uh, with that. All right. So I'm using Rust right now, so I'm learning Rust at the same time. And in Rust, when you do for loops, you actually have to create this range, and uh, and then you can for uh, for in, or you can I mean yeah, you can also do loop. There's many different ways to to do that, but uh, I think this one is uh, quite easy. So. Uh, yeah, we need to calculate our p, so it's gonna be uh, the normalization of i. Uh, so the particularity here is that uh, in Rust you have to you have to cast uh, if you want it to be matching the type of the function. So yeah, we just have x and y. Uh, yeah, actually, um, oh yeah, okay, so the question now is do we want this to be normalized and then we multiply? I think that's usually a good practice, so yeah, we can we can just scale scale and uh, translate scale where we want to draw. So in my case, it's in millimeters. Uh, my units are in millimeters because that's the way I have defined it in, a, in the view box of the, of the SVG. So. Uh, yeah, I think I need to I need to do that. So there is going to be two cases because the first time we want to move to, and we need to calculate the position, and the other case is going to be line two. So I, I think there is ways to do it better if like using a curve instead of a line. But uh, in my case, it's okay. So yeah. Oops, that's my camera. So yeah, I think we can uh, we can have a s we can have this function returning a cent like a centered uh, like the origin is going to be the center of the shape, uh, meaning we want to we want to scale translate as n scale. Uh, yeah, I don't know how uh, like how much, but. Uh, at least our middle is going to be uh, 
half of that, so it's about, about that, not exactly, but that's okay. And let's see, for now we can just use that. Okay, what is the middle of the height? Is going, height is going to be... All right, so right now there is going to be nothing. And actually we have a compiled error. Yeah, because... All right, so here I, I'm not using the, the return value of that. So Rust, I think, is uh, I, I'm guessing that it is thinking I, I, I'm mutating, I mean, and is, is wondering why I like the, the, the data, uh, like is being reused. And that's the safety from Rust. So you have this concept of, uh, of ownership, I mean, of uh, reusing variables. So yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't explain it well, but uh, <laughs> everything needs to be explicit. When you, in, where you where you have to when you do mutation in Rust, so it's pretty great. Uh, all right, so nothing is happening because here, indeed, I do nothing. So let's start by a simple cos. So a simple cos and sinus on x and y. But this is this value is going from zero to one as we do that so it's gonna it's, it's not gonna it's gonna not gonna do a full circle right it should just do a yeah part of the circle so uh, we will have a higher a bigger stroke so we can see something so yeah one moving from zero to one uh, out of two pi so yeah we need to we need pi so pi uh, is can be imported from uh, I think it's here const pi all right so we can multiply our value so it's not no longer going to move from zero to one but from zero to two pi. So we do. We are doing a full circle now. Mm, nothing really interesting. <laughs> a bit boring. So, but now with parametric function, what you can do is you can add again another value, and this can be a bit increased. So I think I think that's where you can do something interesting here. But then we have to scale. Maybe scale down a bit that. Because you know, you see here everything, every time we are, go we are touching again the center and the constraints with, with our plots is you don't want the pen to, to touch too much the same place because then it's going to be like, first of all, it's going to draw again at the same place. So the, the, the color is going to be higher and higher and sometimes you don't really want that and also the paper is not gonna like it so yeah you have to you have to deal with that also that, that's what what i love with that because we are both thinking about the programming and the, the effect or the, the art and you are also thinking about the materials uh, what's going to happen with the paper and pencils so all right let's what what can we do now what what can be interesting because here it's not that much interesting it's pretty classical, so I don't know. I, I actually wonder what's, what's going to happen if I start messing with, um, like here I'm using cosinus, but now I'm gonna use sinus, so it's going to have a different, uh, a different phase, even though I'm not using the same uh, amplitude here. But. All right, so we have some kind of vase now because and uh, by the way, I didn't really re replicate it here, so it's gonna not no longer be. I mean, it's gonna be symmetric on the x, but not. Uh, actually, it's fine. I, I like it, but uh, let's see. So here, I intentionally reverse 
uh, the two, and I think that's why we have a phase. I uh, actually wonder what, what would happen if I would have put it like that. Hmm. Here I'm using the same. So I need to configure my rest so it do a new line because that's too small for the stream. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. Why would it do that? Hmm, that's weird. I don't really understand why. It's supposed to be symmetrical, no? Interesting. Anyway, uh, I think I want to to show again my vase. <laughs> my, my face, my face. So maybe I'm gonna do it on the on the X instead of the Y because I, I'm a bit wider, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, actually it was the correct way. Hmm. What's nice is like you can also do like apps and then you are going to have half of the part. It's going to rebound on, on the on the center axis. Sometimes it's un it's, it's interesting. But, oh my god! It's like my Rust is really slow to compile with all the streams, uh, and I don't know how to optimize that. I really need I really need another computer. I think for uh, for that in the future. So. Yeah, so once, once you start doing a, an amplitude that don't really, is not really a, a factor of, 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 of each other, like, uh, then you start having much more uh, deface, uh, which is not really something I really want, so I don't know. Maybe we, we want hit here on a small amplitude. Uh, maybe we can can try something. So I have no idea what's going to happen when I will start my plotter <laughs> regarding the audio. I hope it's gonna be fine. It's the first time I <laughs> I experiment that in, in stream so we'll see. Messing around, I don't really know where, what I'm doing. <laughs> I think we want a lot of, a lot of uh, spin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's fun. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like, like they are conflicting a bit, e conflicting a bit each other. Uh, so you want one dominant, like one one is dominant and the others are just following. Uh, I think that's usually what you want, but oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, because this one is not on this side, so yeah. I'm just gonna do that, so it's just going to new line. Come on, recompile! <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, not really interesting. Uh, I think if I stay on that bow of two, <laughs> it's gonna be... Yeah. I guess we want a small perturbation, but not a huge one. So maybe we want to... Oh yeah, I was still on that, so yeah. Yeah, it's 
still boring right now. <laughs> I need to find something interesting. Um, okay, so what 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 will that give? What does that bring? Okay. Let's shift a bit the value now. Let's just offset it a bit. Okay. Just a tiny bit now. Actually, this is sign still, so. It's a bit, it's a bit random search right now. It's a bit just trying random things, but it's okay. So yeah, I think we can increase that one. And then I'm not sure what to do here. I don't really know why this is, what this is bringing. Hmm. It's like a hurt, hurt, hurt. So what, what is this bring, bringing anyway? Is this giving anything? Okay, I don't really know. I think I should have a timer, <laughs> so I really challenge myself to do it in some time, timing and before plotting. Uh, all right, uh, I mean, yeah, we can we can start something, we can start something like that. Uh, yeah, still not that great. I think we will have to shift a bit the value here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that's start to be interesting. Uh, I don't know what. I think this like this part is really important because it's giving the like the divergence. It's breaking a bit the, the regularity of the of the structure, so I think I can do it in one or the other way. Uh, yeah, I think. So if I offset by one, it's going to repeat on you on one side, and if I offset by two, yeah. so what if I offset by three? Okay, I think I preferred before. Okay, it's too, too simple. Maybe we can change a bit that. What if I just do that twice? So I, I stay on the same, but then I add up one more. So yeah, I, I want to avoid having too much, uh, too much dark because the pen, uh, it's gonna be gonna be a bit annoying for the pen and I actually want to do white on black and uh, it's hard like the, the white pen is really hard to master and if you draw too much at the same position it's uh, quite uh, it's removing <laughs> it's, it starts removing the, the what you just drew before and, and then yeah it's not something you want so Okay. 
So yeah, I think we want to increase that. Because I, I think that the inner structure is defined by this one. Maybe not. So it's like we don't need that one. So now I just wonder is it good enough? Uh, it's a bit abstract, it's a bit, uh, it's okay. Uh, I think we can start something with that. Uh, now the question is, do we want to, do we use just a white pen? So I have white pen like this one, but I also like this one. Uh, yeah, actually this one are, are much better than, uh, than the Sakura one. Uh, I don't know if you can see anything, yeah, I guess I can. So maybe we could mix, we could mix two colors. But now, how do we mix two colors? Uh, where, where, where should it mix? Um, hmm, that's a good question. So actually, it's like we need a third value that will tell us which color we want. But then it's gonna be, <laughs> yeah, sure. Good luck with the baby. I mean, we, we can we can mirror one side and or the other side, but also interleaving interleaving the two colors can be interesting. Um, then every time we switch colors, we need to move again. Like we need to change, we need to switch to another uh, data because it's going to be two path. So we want to have... Uh, yeah, we can try that. Uh, okay, let's do it. So we have data one, data two, it's just going to be like that for now. Uh, yeah, I think this one's the... Uh, it's pretty dumb to, to have done that. Anyway, it was my plate, template. Uh, I think we can have a gold. Even though it's not really gold, it's... I don't know what it is. Orange. Okay. I actually have gold. Like this, this one is gold. Maybe I could use it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, okay. I, I shared that part. Data one. Okay, we will have white here. Yeah, I could I could share some code here, but it's okay. All right, so now. We need a, we can do a Boolean. Uh, if we would want to generalize it, we should generalize it. I mean, we could have an index. Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we can do an index, it's okay. It doesn't really cost anything. But now, now I don't know how to, what, what should we do about that? Um, P, so it depends on P. I think we can use, uh, yeah, we can use that. And if it's higher or not, it's just gonna be a boolean, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is working. I think it does. So now we need to know uh, which color is it. So let's call it C. Uh, I'm not uh, inspired. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need to know if we change from from the previous point. 
Uh, so last C and I mean we can actually actually we we want initially to not be any values that we that we will handle. Uh, all right, so yes, that's why I think we need an integer. Uh, and I think in Rust there is no there is no ternary, so you have to you have to do that I think. Okay, so initially we would we don't need that code anymore. Uh, we can actually cha change it to does the C change as change, and if it has changed, we want to not line two because which we our previous pair position was actually skipped we want to move to i think that's what that's what we want uh, we can uh, we can debug at the end uh, to be sure it's uh, with a lower granularity to make sure it's really doing what what we want but uh, i think that's it and now comes the boring part because i don't know uh, I don't know how to do it other, uh, in another way than this. So I think we we'll duplicate some code here. Actually, I can see how maybe with a function yeah, that we will give a reference. Uh, but anyway, we <laughs> for now it's a bit uh, aki. It's okay. We just want to finish this plot. Line two. Okay, yeah. If we have to choose one, it's okay. Uh, yeah, if it's zero, actually we could have call it one and two, and then this would have been zero. Zero is like does not exist, and then uh, if it's one, it's one. Doesn't matter. But yeah, we will need some generalization if uh, if we would want more than one color. Yeah, then we need to think. Okay, what's going on now? Okay, I'm not saving C, so last C equals C. It's just doing move to. Move to, move to, move to. It's only doing here. So it's always different. So. Yeah, I need to mutate. All right. So it's doing something. It's not really doing what I want. But uh, since we are repeating, repeating on the same uh, amplitude as as this one, uh, I think that's why we we only see part. Part is white. Part is. Uh, Gold. Uh, will I use gold? I, I don't know. Golden, golden, golden black. I think I yeah I did once. It was okay. Uh, we can try. We can try. I have some. Actually, I already tried it. Yes, this it's, it's great. It's okay. But this one is really white. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not the one. It's not the same. I I. I yeah, a good, a good. Uh, I think a, a good uh, habit is to always use the same uh, brand of pen when you use different colors, uh, because then you will have different uh, results. So, like they don't match together. So yeah, I think it. I think it can work. Uh, yeah, you never know until you do. You you th you throw it so. That doesn't look gold, that looks yellow, but it's the default CSS gold color. So what value should we put here? I, again, I want, I want the lines to interleave. So it's definitely, definitely not that. Um, maybe actually we want just to split uh, like from zero to one and, and from zero to to zero two point five, but it, no, it's not actually doing it, doing it. So we 
All right, so it, it will it will be a, it will be a, a possible way. But let's see. I think that start to get a bit more interesting. What will have done uh, just a two? Mm, doesn't really change. So, hmm, what should we do? I think we already start. We already tried that. Uh, Thirty-two. Yeah. Okay, so that's really an, an entirely. But is this is this really great? I, I don't know actually like do we really want to do we really want to to mix it like that? I'm not sure. Doesn't really, doesn't really do anything. Usually, okay. I, I noticed something uh, important here. Uh, we we see we don't uh, we don't finish the line, uh, and this happens because we don't close. Actually, this happens because we don't have the last value, so. I think we actually need to call from 0 to granularity plus 1 and that should solve it. Otherwise we could data.close but this is not working for uh, for our split of colors because it, we don't want it we don't want to close on the two on the two colors I think. Uh, hmm, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is this not working? Okay, this one... I don't get why this time. Um, okay, it should move from 0 to 1 now. So we should be good. Oh, but here we... We could move and no and never align two. So maybe we need to to line two at the end to close at the end, but only on the color that was last. Only on the last color. Oh no, I can see a line here that makes no sense. And it's still not working, so I, I missed something here. Um, and I mean, we, we are always using 2pi, uh, so we should close. Yeah, it's a bit mysterious here. Yeah. So anyway, uh, is our granularity good enough? Uh, like, do we, do we see some... Uh, some bad curve. Uh, I think we see bad curve here. Yeah. So we need to increase our granularity. Uh, I will. Uh, no, I don't need to lower that. Uh, okay. So I'm still not sure about the. But let's see. Okay, this can be interesting. It makes different areas of. Of colors, but maybe the two was more interesting, or the three. It make less areas. It's really hard. It's really really hard to to choose. And what about cos cos? 
Yeah, I think one is more on the symmetry on, on X and the other is more on Y. So, for us, I don't know. <coughs> I mean, this one was interesting. But maybe the gold should be inside. So should we start with gold and then white? I think so. Yeah, okay, I, I like that, that's it. Uh, I'm not a super fan of the shape itself. Uh, I wonder if we could find something more interesting, but uh, it's not easy. Yeah, maybe more into that. Uh, I like this one. Some sort of... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> wow. Not that. Okay, so this is like giving some perturbation on, on Y. Okay, so l l let's do that. So this is a parametric function uh, for a given value from 0 to 1, we give a x, y, and we also give a z, z color. Z color, so we can, uh, we can plot, we can iterate uh, from 0 to 1 and, uh, and just plot. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. We have a granularity of 10,000 line 2s, so that's 10,000 points. And uh, yeah, we are not really aligned. I actually wonder if this is, if we shouldn't flip on the X, so the signature looks better. Uh, so yeah, to do that, we need to just remove. And I think it's not gonna be really centered now. Yeah. Okay, so I think we can remove that now. Okay. So, what do we do now? So, we have our SVG. Let's take a look. So, this is our SVG. And we open it with Inkscape, and now we have to do some plotting. So I need a, I need a, a black, a black paper here. So in 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 uh, in scape, uh, I don't know how to do that, but uh, Inkscape will always uh, will not will not support the style uh, back background. So you actually have to go to the document property and say it's a black background. So yeah, I don't know how to fix that. If anyone knows, like how to make make it part of the SVG. Maybe I should look at what it generates. Actually, I don't know if it's even part of the SVG. It's not really, it's not really important because at the end, uh, we just plot. And so what we, what, what the trick, the trick to make it work is uh, to have a layer. 
So a layer is an utility I wrote because every time I would have to to do that, and it's supported for in Inkscape. So I tell Inkscape put put that group as a layer, and then Inkscape will uh, just show me the layers. And uh, since we have two colors, because you ju just put one layer per color, uh, I will need to plot in one one color and then continue on the other color. So we can see here we have two parts, so we will uh, do a two pass. Um, I, the really important question is what should we start? I think we should start with white because actually I'm scared and I don't, I don't want my, uh, my gold to be removed. Uh, I, it shouldn't be removed. Anyway, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so that's my pen. I'm good with these two ones. Uh, I forgot to... I forgot to put some lights here and... Yeah, I'm prepared. <laughs> Alright, so I need to fix uh, two things before we start. Uh, first of all, I need to use some... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Some... Uh, some scotch, some... Uh, I need to make that not moving. Because I use two pens and it's really important you, you, you plot again at the exact same position. So I need to fix that. Alright, so yeah, maybe with some lights I don't know. I don't know how to put the lights, but anyway. All right. So, yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. Oh, okay. It's not showing anything. Sorry. The camera is heavy. So yeah, this is quite important to use this stuff. So you can just put it here, and you your stuff is not moving. So all right. I'm gonna quickly measure it so it has the same, all right, more or less the same position. Okay, but before doing that, actually, I, I need to put my pen here. I don't know if you see anything. It's hard for me to to see. All right, so yeah. So anyway, I put my pen here and just make sure it's at the edge of, of, the, of the paper. Actually, that should be here. Right. So yeah, here. So basically, uh, I try to I try to measure a bit. Uh, like make sure this pen is just falling here. So I need to ask. Uh, so with Inkscape, with the plugin, um, so I can put it down, put it up. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely not correct, so I need to put it down a bit more. So it's So, yeah, it's, it's touching now, so it's okay. Uh, I need to make sure it's aligned. My camera is ready. Sorry for that. I really need to hold it. Okay. So 
So yeah, I, I will try to measure it like that. Okay. Okay, a bit. Okay, we are more or less good. Uh, okay, I think we are aligned. We, it's okay. So now uh, I'm gonna put some uh, duct tape. That's the word I was looking for. To make sure I'm not uh, I'm not moving that 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 board anymore, and I will always be sure to be aligned for the future plots. I the, the fact is, the fact I removed the recently the duct tape was because I tried to I tried to use a, a fountain a fountain um, pen, and for the fountain pens pens you need to rotate by. Uh, by an angle, so you, you need to remove and rotate, and that's gonna be much more on the left. So yeah, I had to I had to try that. Right, so this duct tape is a bit annoying because when you put your paper, it's always like touching and it's like not really uh, not really uh, easy. But uh, it's okay. It's it's way it's my it's the way I I, I have found for now. Uh, okay, so now I will use this uh, small clips here just to to make sure the paper uh, is staying here. So I think two is fine. Enough. Okay, so here we go. We can zoom a bit. So please give me feedbacks because it's the first time I do that and I have no idea if everything looks great or... So yeah, I could... Uh, I don't know if I should... Uh, I, I could play with different angles. Uh, I could uh, move up the, the table because it's a table that can move up. It's very, very fancy. But anyway, uh, I think I could put it down for now, so you see it from a high position. Okay, and now let's start that, and then I have to move on to the next plot before the <laughs> before that one is finished. So that's gonna be my challenge. Uh, we are, and I I, uh, I think I said I should start white first, and <laughs> I put the gold one. So anyway, I, I know the position now. The same pen, so that should be okay. All right. So now we go trace. Uh, I think the writing speed should not be too much, should not be too fast, because uh, with these pens, uh, you can have bad surprises. So, and I actually want to make sure it's uh, it's floating, it's flowing uh, some some ink. Okay, before it even starts. Uh, yeah, ten percent of the max. Uh, f I think that's okay. Mm, yeah, I think that's fine. So let's try. Here we go. What's going on? Oh, okay, I, I saved it. Okay, here we go. So it's tied by my signature, and as we can see, it had some problems at the beginning. So yeah, indeed, we need to, the ink to flow. So yeah, like, like, it's not, not perfect, perfect. It's really slow. So anyway, here we go. Okay, <laughs> that gives me some time, but it's not that much. So 
So I have no idea how it looks like on, uh, on the stream. I think it's small, right? Because I have not put it in full screen. And I have my head. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, it's okay. It's still watchable, I guess. So yeah, it's not flowing right. It's not flowing really well. Um, yeah, I think we need to make it even slower. Or, or that's it. It's part of the beauty, uh, actually. It's like part of the art. <laughs> so yeah, that's supposed to be the result at the end. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if you can hear the, the sound it does, but I have some, some music in background. And I'm gonna increase the music uh, in background so we have... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's really a good idea, but you tell me. Okay, so now let's switch to another, uh, let's switch to another uh, creation. So... I'm gonna start again with the template. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, okay, I'm trying to click on my uh, on my preview of the stream. It has actually the source code. Okay, uh, okay. So I want to start again. Uh, I want to start uh, on the a continuation of the idea of uh, of the last uh, stream. The last stream. The last stream I did was about. Uh, connecting dots, connecting points together, and, and trying to do things with that. And uh, it's not a trivial problem. Like, how do you connect dots together? How do you make it interesting? So uh, there is a, a first approach, uh, which is Voronoi. Uh, you do some polygons. Uh, I had another approach, which is uh, the travel man, uh, the travel, the travel. Uh, the traveling salesman problem. So you just do solve that problem uh, by uh, figuring out the smallest distance between uh, that, that uh, connect all the points. It's really slow to calculate. It's a bit overkill. Uh, and uh, I had another approach uh, the other day, which is just about uh, doing a spiral around the, the points and uh, uh, yeah, it's a simple algorithm to just connect the points. Um, so today I actually want to, uh, I, I don't know, I have a few ideas and uh, <laughs> this, this plot is going to be faster than me uh, trying to implement what I want, but uh, uh, that's a bit my challenge. Uh, let's try to be faster <laughs> and have something straight away renderable after, plotable. So, Yeah, we can do uh, like another approach is uh, doing a, a top-down left left right scan to to connect dots. Uh, I think I want to try that right now. Um, let's see. Uh, I think we can try that. But it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty. Set. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's really interesting. But uh, at the end, I, I have uh, two ideas of algorithm I want to implement. Uh, one is about um, when, when you select your points. So, I mean, you can select, you can uh, sample points uh, randomly. Berlin noise is a great. Uh, but you can also use an image to sample your points. Just throw random points among your image. Uh, I did that a few on a few on a few uh, examples, but. Uh, it was always white or black. And I have another idea, it's just to use a gradient, of, like the case scale of your image to actually distance your points regarding that. Uh, and I think that can be interesting. 
So that's one thing. And then another thing is uh, using a vector field. So vector field, uh, like a, you can have uh, lines with different directions and uh, trying to figure out the best uh, direction for your image. And uh, a way to do that, uh, I have an idea, but uh, it's a bit hard to explain. So it's already too challenging uh, thing to do. So let's see, let's see what we can do uh, step by step. Uh, before I think reaching that, I want to, I want to implement something a bit simpler. It's just to combine these different uh, algorithms, this different approach to connect dots, combine them on the same image, and. Oh, that's funny. It, it jumped. It jumped into. Uh, I don't know where it is. It jumped into uh, another place because uh, my. Uh, I think we split. I don't remember how much we split the space. I think by four. So it's gonna do, do two. It's probably gonna do two jumps, or maybe just one. No, I think it's one. So there are some people that will actually put the finger on the pen itself to to make sure it flows. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because I have to code. All right, so yeah, let, let's combine uh, two techniques, uh, two different techniques. So I'm gonna reuse uh, what I had before. Uh, the, uh, where, where is it? I think that's this one. Yeah, so that's the one uh, I was, uh, we have implemented in the stream. It's like using parallel noise to throw points, so to throw random uh, points, and then grouping, uh, grouping uh, points by proximity. And for each uh, groups, just rotate around the points uh, by, uh, by a small, uh, by just uh, looking at the angle to f finding the, the, the next point by a search, by an angular search. By like a ray, you search for the angle and uh, for the first point you, you see and, and then you rotate like that. So like it's like a right turn every time. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's interesting. So let's see. I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's really interesting what I have planned, but uh, we can try that on an image, and then based on the image uh, grayscale, maybe we can uh, we can do different layers. Actually, that just that alone with this uh, plotting uh, with this way of, of connecting dots can be interesting. So I'm gonna try it right now. So I'm reusing the I'm gonna reuse the, the two functions I have in that, which uh, figured out the two algorithms for grouping and um, spiral uh, connecting. By the way, it have a huge hack in that, but it's working. We I will have to figure I will have to simplify some code here. It's not it's, it's a, not I think it can be much more concise, but anyway, it's okay. Uh, all right, we have our functions. What it's complaining about? Uh, pi. Okay, use pi. Okay, so. <coughs> So we need we need uh, we need random to shuffle to, to when you, when we select points uh, we will need some random like like previously like in this I had to I had to do a few things uh, I'm gonna reuse part of that code here like that part I think I can reuse it as uh, as is. Uh, and then the other parts uh, will be a bit different, so let's see. I think I can drop that. Ok, 
Okay, I don't need Perlin noise at all, I think. Uh, but I will definitely need that uh, RNG to be able to shuffle my candidates. Because at the end we truncate, and if we don't truncate, we will only select the first uh, points that were generated, which are only at the beginning. So, yeah, and by the way, I think we can stick to simple, just a simple path, there is nothing more. I guess, but still great to have these uh, groups, I guess. Yeah, it's still great. Who knows? Okay, so what, what is it complaining about? Indeed, there is no resolution. So, need to define one. That's how much, how much in depth we want to go uh, in X and Y. Uh, and then we, our value, Like there is a threshold to define, like do we do we emit a point or not based on the x and y, and that's gonna be defined by a function. But uh, let's see let's see who, let's see how we do it. Uh, it's gonna be defined by uh, by an image by the, the color of an image. So I have an utility called um, what it's called image. Like image gate. Okay, I think I need to look at my lib. I have a small lib with all with a few utilities and uh, yeah, image get the gate color. So gate color is a is a function that uh, for a given x and y returns the color. That's what I get in the result. And uh, the x and y is, uh, is uh, normalized between 0 and 1. So that's a small utility for me to implement that. It doesn't do inter interpolation on, on pixels. It doesn't do caching. Uh, I think it could if we want to optimize uh, that. But uh, for now, it's going to be OK. And uh, we have a few images. Uh, in a folder, so let's take a look. Uh, hold on. Okay, it's faster than me coding. <laughs> That's gonna be challenging. So we have finished our first path, pass, and we need a second pass on uh, with gold. I think we don't want the signature. Well, actually, it's okay. We can sign again. Let's let's see. Oh, I, I forgot to to. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. So it's gonna be a gold signature. gonna tweet to have more viewers. Right, yes, yeah, it's, it's working.
Sorry, I'm doing some uh, a bit social. I, I need uh, I need someone uh, <laughs> to help me on the social aspect. Uh, okay, just sharing the stream to t on Twitter. All right. Um, okay, so let's look at my images. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just have a few images. I use that one on one of the photo of my uh, kid hands. I have some apples, I never used it because it's actually boring. <laughs> uh, Dodge, I used it uh, recently. Uh, I never used this, this one, like a boat. But uh, yeah, for our case, I'm not sure it's really interesting. I think we need to find, a, we need to find something. Uh, we need to find uh, we need to find something interesting and uh, yeah, what's great is uh, if you don't know this website, Unsplash is pretty great to find some and it's uh, free of use. So yeah, and by the way, everything I do is open source. You can find it on my GitHub, GitHub.com/gre. And uh, I have a repository where every day, uh, every, everything I do every day uh, is published here. So yeah, and it's uh, it's a uh, like it's a creative com a creative common uh, license, so it's pretty open. And uh, yeah, uh, and Splash is free of use, so it's great. And uh, we can find something. Uh, I need a theme. I, I need what, what? What should I do? So I mean. We have a Chinese New Year, or maybe it's something to, to look into. Uh, but is this going to be really interesting as a, as a as an image image base for plotting? Mm, dragon, I like that. But it's quite it's it's a lot of details, so I'm not sure. In the future, maybe when I really master something. Uh, but uh, yeah. Huh. That's that's cute. Yeah, not not really interesting. Uh, I think I need some uh, basic uh, shape. Some animals, maybe. If you have any any idea, uh, be my guest, or I can stay on the gra dragon idea. Yeah, like that. Actually, this one is a photo of the of the one we saw before, right? It's quite complex. This one uh, is easy. We can start with that. <coughs> and I like it because there is different gray, different grayscale, and that's what that's something easy to to split. So yeah, let's take that photo and grab it here. Okay, so dragon, dragon. Do you say dragon or dragon? I don't know. I never know. Um, I think we have too much sky. We don't care. Uh, we just want it to be a square. I think that's easier. What's going on here? Okay. So yeah. My thing is going to be super slow if the image is too big, so I think we need to downscale it. Ah, come on. Just drop one pixel, please. Right. So now we can use it. Okay, we have a function to get the color. Uh, we can use it here. 
and we get back a value, a color. But now we want the grayscale of that. So, okay, let's get that grayscale, color. And that's a float, I mean a double. So now we can, uh, we can do, uh, we can split. So, uh, yeah, if it's a lower value, that means it's, it's darker. So if it's darker, there is a shape. And we can put a candidate in, in, our, array, in our array, in our vector here. So, Okay, so we have no ratio, it's a square. So this is a number. Um, and now, now let's do something a bit, uh, what's going on here? Let's do, uh, do something a bit stupid. It's just let's uh, let's plot. Let's randomly uh, connect all my uh, dots. Let's plot it uh, like that. So I still don't really understand what's going on here. What? Get color. What is the type here? I have some errors. Uh, I don't really understand them. Uh, maybe I'm not using. Okay, so that's taking a double, I think, right? Oh, it's finished. <laughs> it's game over. <laughs> the machine, uh, <laughs> machine one. You won. can say plotter one gre zero <laughs> oh, what's going on? It's a match, it's a competition between me uh, and the machine. Ah, I cannot find the color. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so what is going on in all of this? Okay, so we have not imported the, the, the random. Maybe that's creating all the issues. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, usually I will just call it like that, so what's the problem here? Get color is a unit variant. You need to write it without the parentheses. No, it's not a unit variant, what? Oh, 
What does it mean? Oh, hold on. This is a result. It can fail. So you need to unwrap it. I mean, in my case, I, if the image don't load, I can, I, I'm, I'm okay. I can just make it fail. Uh, so yeah, that's why. Oops. Mutate. And now, groups will have to be defined a bit earlier, otherwise I'm going to do really a loop or something. So, I mean, we, we can we can either start dumb and just draw something. I think we want to draw something so we can see what we are doing. Um, so, yeah, we can do for each point in candidates and just the usual code we have. Uh, it's always the same, it's something like that. Uh, it's just about scaling to some places. And in our case, uh, we are in, only in, uh, in A3, so don't have much place. And, and then initially we move to, and then we line to. So I need the index and I can do it like that. Uh, enumerate? No. Yeah, actually that's it. Enumerate. Come on, show me something. Why is it so slow? like this music. Okay, so nothing is appearing here. But yeah, what is D? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> So we had another variable defined, which was not data, but we could have called it D, it's okay. But this one. Oh yeah, this music is so great. Okay, so it's random, it's pretty ugly. Um, it's not random, I mean, it's just connecting everything. But we can see our shape. Uh, so yeah, indeed it match. Uh, but since I do random uh, connection, it's just gonna line at random places, uh, which is a problem because Unless I resolve the traveling problem, which I'm not gonna do on my computer, it's already burning with the stream. Uh, cannot really. Cannot really solve the problem that's gonna happen here, but uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so what we said is we want to solve the, a few problems. We want to solve possibilities. Of, like potentially, we want to solve the proximity of the of the points, so we can group by uh, proximity. Uh, even though here yeah, we don't really have. A, I mean, we have a few areas, but this is one group of points. If we split by uh, proximity, so <coughs> it's not going to be enough. Uh, yeah, we might want to s to do really small groups, but uh, again, it's not gonna. S this is going to be annoying. We will not see uh, these deta details, I guess. It's okay. 
But I think I think the idea to the idea to have a, a granu like a different uh, distance of the points depending on the color. I think in the future it could be great. Like in this area, it's pretty dark, so you will have more points. But in this area, you will have less. I, but actually, like something is doing that. In, in if we sample uh, a few points, it's already randomly doing that. But we could uh, we, we could precise it by uh, making sure no no points are really close to each other by uh, having some kind of algorithm to have uh, no sh not really shuffling but more selecting uh, precisely. It's interesting that it's a bit it's gonna be a bit abstract. It's gonna be a bit like like that. So, but uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, I think what we can do first of all is uh, doing that in a few on, on a different uh, scales, like different values of that, so we can give different colors. But now, do we want to do the grouping logic? I guess we can try and root by spiral. So root by spiral, by the way, could be tried right now. Uh, it's just taking a, a list of points, returning a list of points. It's just going to reorder them in a way that when you draw, it's doing a, a, a spiral. So we can try it here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's even worse. But uh, I, I think I think if we group by really, sm really small proximity, maybe there's something into that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's useless. Uh, Okay, so let's group it now. Uh, let's see, so we can group with this function. Ah, it's gonna collide with the group's name. I call it layers. Alright, so for candidates, no, it's for G in groups. So it's actually a list of points. So I think we can call that candidates again. Uh, it takes a second parameter, which is how close do you want to the points to like what is the threshold for grouping because it's a proximity so as soon as the dot is no longer uh, lower than that value in the in distance in Euclidean distance it's gonna it's gonna be another group so we start to see some shapes that follows a bit that but indeed it's not gonna be really great so my proposal is to mix this approach with another approach which can be a bit of random, which can be resolving the, the yeah, resolving the traveling man problem, but I'm not sure. Okay, so what I can try now Maybe increase that. To have a bit more precise uh, 
points positioning but it's not going to be it's not going to be it's not going to be enough i think we can play with that value we can loop on it also we can we want to remove the groups that are small so if the group length is uh, lower than 5 points uh, i think we can we can skip so we don't have these small lines so if i put it even smaller it's gonna it's gonna be more precise but only on the the areas of the, of the drag run but honestly it's not uh, it's not really interesting like the it's too it's, it's hard to see the, the actual uh, image in that and we can scale it up we can we can make it bigger but so did it do anything hmm. Okay, so I think it's great for general shapes, but uh, let's see. Alright, so what I want to try is to make a super loop that will uh, affluate that value. I don't, I don't know what name should I give that. All right, so actually it can be. Um, I divided by. Max value is going to be it's going to need to be four actually four divided by five plus so it's going to be uh, this formula I think Yeah, I, I sample points. <laughs> that's exactly how I draw a dragon. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's really a shame. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I sample points uh, here. Then I, I randomly choose some. I mean, yeah, that's what we call sh sampling. Um, but then the way I, I, I plot them is pretty dumb. It's uh, just a rotation. I, I, I figure some groups that, and then uh, yeah, I rotate around the dots. So yeah, that's just one, one, one uh, way to do it. Uh, indeed, uh, there is better ways, but uh, what? <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, so I think, I think I need to tweak that. Okay, so I think we don't want it to be If it's too light, yeah, I don't want that. So, if it's lower than 0 0.1 up to 0 0.7, ah, it's really slow to compile. Actually, to to run. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's nothing. Nothing changed. Okay, it's complaining about that. I can give that as value. 
that's real. It should do something, I don't know why nothing has changed. I'm curious what is taking so much time to, to run. Oh, okay, I have a compilation error. Here. So yeah, the challenge is I do something uh, pretty fast so I can plot it and then move on to the next thing and I can plot again and and I, I failed. So I have one, <laughs> my machine won one and I have zero because the goal is I, I actually should be faster than the machine to do something else, to do something new each time. So yeah. But it, it can be abstract. I mean, we can <laughs> we can try. Can try to do something like that. It's a bit abstract. Okay, so why why would it do that? I don't understand why it's, it sees stuff like that. Because mm. again, if I do that. Oh, I think the value was much lower be before, that's why. I mean, the, the sky, the sky is... is like 90%, so why? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I is an is a variety is a variety no? no? What's going on? I didn't compile. Uh, okay, so zero point five plus I. Okay, so this is the value from zero to G. Zero, I mean plus. 0.5 divided by g and then I multiply that by 0.55 so it should be fine maybe it can be lower yeah but the value oh yeah no but actually I don't I don't want to go to i that's the point I think or oh, maybe I missed something because the value here is white so it should be a, a high value in grayscale. So if it's lower, if it's lower, it should, yeah. Okay, so whatever. Uh, I think so, more we have. So here, the eye is moving into selecting higher, higher uh, color, so. Okay, I I don't really know how, if I should use it here. Maybe I can. Whatever. But maybe there is something better to do anyway. Uh, like this is pretty ugly. Uh, I think we can try. Uh, we can try the. What was it called? Uh, traveling salesman. But it's gonna be slow, and it's gonna take a lot of time to to do something great. So that's a bit the problem here. <laughs> that's really abstract. I like it. Uh, I think I pref I would prefer actually to be to be random to do random uh, random stuff. So like not even routing. Just drop that. Oh, my camera just stopped. No, I hear this. I think my camera have no battery anymore.
Ja. Ja, Smell auch ein Smell auch Grubs. Ja, das ist eine gute Idee. So, ja, yeah, like, just random uh, is, is okay. I think we can just do random. More points, maybe. More iterations. Okay, so no, it's it's not. Uh, it's, I'm not using a release. What, what is slow is not the compile time; it's the runtime. But yeah, actually, that, that's that's uh, related. Yeah, yeah. But release is really slow to compile. So it's really the, the live stream that is uh, I think that is really impacting. And uh, yeah, uh, that really sucks uh, that my uh, my camera is. Uh, I think it's really the battery now that is dead. I mean, I have to. Yeah, no battery, so I would. Uh, <laughs> I actually have nothing to plug, so I can I can still charge it, but it's not gonna be enough. I I should have a second battery, or maybe I can. I don't know. It's a Canon. It's a Canon. Uh, Camera, maybe there is a way to, to do it on uh, on power. I don't know. You want not to see the, the shape. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, sorry. I, I read it's too bad. You, it's too bad now you can see the dragon. It's not an, enough abstract. I thought that you meant that. Yeah, we, we, can, we can guess it, but it's still a bit, uh, still a bit weird. So, yeah, and also we use. Uh, I could do I could do I could do that a bit uh, randomly, I mean not randomly but one one time uh, out of two. So it gives some uh, gives some uh, some change. Taking that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Traveling man problem solving for the could be done as well. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I used it the last time. Uh, it's here. Oh, it was giving me a tour. Yeah, and you have to give uh, how much how much time? Okay, let's try let's try it out. Wow. Oh, yeah, I give that. All right, so let's get back to this to one value, and I just want to. Okay, the problem is one value is going to be. Okay, let's quickly do that. 
so traveling man uh, i guess i need to import uh, something no no actually it's a library uh, okay so i have a tour so i give my candidates i tell how much time to calculate i guess i will just put five seconds and uh, it's Yet, let's see, because I think five seconds is not really interesting, but uh, depending on the number of points, uh, of course. Yeah. So it's giving me a number of, uh, a vector of index, I think. So I need to remap it. Where is it? So yeah, we have like a, another way. Uh, okay, so how do I do that in Rust? I think I need to eat there. Can I map? I think I can map. We'll see. Collect, I think, at the end. Is this even compiling? <laughs> it seems like it does. No. And give me the signature. Ah, something is super slow. Okay, I need to search some. Uh, some rust. Uh, so we have an iterable iterator. I guess we can map, right? Let's check. So what the what is the type of X? Cannot be indexed by. Okay, it's like a pointer. Okay. So, is this correct? Is this actually gonna work? So, for, for, for five seconds, I'm gonna calculate, I'm gonna try to figure out. Oh, for each group. Oh my god. It's gonna be super slow. Uh, and it's not compiling because I'm not importing duration. So I'm gonna put one second. And one second is really not a lot. But my groups can be small. So. Yeah, I should be able to parallelize. To optimize, it should be parallelized. So it's, it has finished. But. Does not refreshed. Why? Hmm. I'm supposed to change a lot. <laughs> What's going on? Oh no, it's it was running. Okay, so you, you see here like traveling man, traveling salesman, uh, and just one second is enough. I guess I have a big group. I'm not sure. Maybe I have a few groups. And I don't have a lot of points, so that helps. But maybe I can, uh, maybe I can do, uh, I can do a mix of everything. Like this, I, we had a few ideas, we had, we had some uh, rotation uh, to connect the dots. <laughs> it's it's doing uh, like so it's 
it's not good for, for making a shape shapes that is not uh, convex. So, but that's that's a quick uh, a quick approach. And uh, yeah, we have this one. So I think I can do a few else do, do a few a few choices based on uh, on the index. That's uh, an approach. So yeah, let's try. It. So we can. We can use a, a, a match. I mean, yeah, we could use a match, but it's okay. I have a three cases, and what was the other? Oh, I, I, I deleted. Oh no, actually, the other is just do nothing. <laughs> so it's like randomly keeping the initial ordering, which is going to be random. And now, let the fun begin, but it's gonna be slow. So yeah, that sucks. So what sucks is my stream. Uh, my, my camera no longer have battery. So lost on learn for the next time because uh, I think in my stream you see some background that is weird, right? Behind me. Yeah, we <laughs> webcam. No webcam. Oh, my computer is lagging. So it's calculating right now uh, a lot of stuff, uh, specifically a lot of uh, algorithm here that is running. So we are calculating the traveling salesman distance, optimizing the, the, the path. And if I'm satisfied by the result, I think I'm gonna just plot it, that's it. I mean... <laughs> yeah, what sucks is I have no battery, that's really bad. Can you, can you put some... I, I need to search. I need to find some... Uh, I'm sure you can use a... You can put it on, on the AC, uh, your camera, instead of having a battery. I think I, I need one of these, right? Anyway, I will buy it. Not this one, but uh, I, will, I will figure it out for the next time. Still not finished. All right, we, we have some uh, we have some advance for <laughs> doing another one. Then. Uh, okay, so let's get back to so that was one idea I had in mind. Oh shit, it's bad. <laughs> it was better before. Yeah. All of, oh, <laughs> all of that for nothing. Uh, okay, I think I think the problem is. One problem of this approach is we are doing uh, only one condition and not between uh, two be between two range. So we are actually doing uh, n times uh, g times the same. Uh, we are going to be in the same uh, area, but actually it's like it's nice. You put layer one on top of the other. And why not? Uh, and also the last point. That only going to be 100 points on the last. 
<coughs> I'm not sure what to improve. Okay, I, I think I think it's I think it's okay. I mean, it's a bit abstract, but uh, <laughs> my signature is on the right. I would have put it in here, but it's gonna take a long time to recalculate. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as is and uh, call it a plot. <laughs> but yeah, it was a try. It was an idea and. You have bad surprise sometimes. Okay, so we have our image. So now there's a choice: do we keep it as is, uh, black, black and white? Do we? What kind of pen do we use? My battery is gonna be dead uh, really quick, but I'm still gonna put it back. And next time, I will buy an adapter for. Uh, for I didn't know it was really that uh, that slow. I mean, that fast to to burn. Maybe I should stop the stream. Ah, oh, no. How do I stop that? Anyway. So what do we do? What do we do? I have a lot of pens. All right, so. We can try. Uh, we can try a, a color, maybe a colored uh, paper. It's not really. It's not really that beautiful. So I'm not gonna spend uh, too much nice paper on, on that. Oh, it's opening. Yeah. Why is my computer so slow? Alright, so let's save it back. How do you save? Okay, so we could be we could be really fast on this one, much faster than on the the white. If we use uh, if we use uh, if we use the black pen, uh, it's a, it's gonna be okay. I think I could plot black on on uh, on red, but I'm not sure. I would prefer to keep my uh, my red. Paper on for white because it's pretty great. Okay, I have a bunch of colors. Papers. Papers. Yeah, the dark one are actually for green white. Or I can just I can just do it white on white. Okay, I can keep just the white.
Tu sais, elle a quiz. Ok, donc if you see it, but if you, if you forget to, to remove your pen, it's uh, on, this, on this pen, uh, it's actually gel. It's a gel pen, so. It's, it's gonna. It's gonna dry a bit, so yeah, you have to be careful. So I have, I have this. Uh, that are pretty great. My battery is dead, by the way, so it's gonna be quick. Uh, yeah, I think I can use one. So, and then you have to choose the one uh, like it's in millimeters. So you have to choose uh, which size you want. So yeah, we have nice a nice granularity of uh, of size. But uh, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it do doesn't last so so long. So yeah, it's a problem. So yeah, that's definitely uh, the traveling man, uh, the traveling that is working here. So yeah, that's usually great. But the other ones will be <laughs> will be pretty random. So. Okay, uh, I have an idea. It's not. Uh, it was not planned. But uh, the other idea with algorithm, it's uh, it's not gonna be. Uh, it's not gonna be. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna be boring to watch. So, and it's gonna take me too much time. So I think I can uh, do something faster to implement. So let's uh, let's go back to a new template. again my so it's the first it's the first time I do that uh, that uh, in live like doing both coding and plotting I use uh, different camera streams so my computer is really really taking some uh, CPU hits so it's uh, next time I think I need to professionalize a bit more uh, that stream so like having another computer doing that work uh, yeah. I need to think well, it's a bit blurry and I can so Okay, so so the other the small idea I have is uh, just uh, a vector field, uh, but actually more uh, directional field. Uh, I don't know if this is in English if you have this concept, but uh, in French, direction and uh, and way is uh, is two different things. Uh, direction is a uh, is like an axis. It doesn't say if it goes left or right. It's just saying it's vertical or uh, horizontal. And uh, way is like just uh, like going from left to right. But uh, 
I don't know if in English she says that, like direction. Actually, it's ambiguous in French, but uh, anyway, uh, it's like the idea of a field where uh, it doesn't care where, uh, it doesn't care if it goes left or right. It just gives you the axis, like the line. So meaning that uh, if uh, if an if a line if a line comes from the left, it will uh, it will go. I mean, if it, if it, yeah, it's hard to explain. But uh, I think it's. Uh, let me explain it in a graph. What I want to achieve. So we will have a directional field that would be instead of doing a, it's to represent it. I, I will use uh, I will use lines because that's what I meant. And uh, so let's say we have this field. So now. If I uh, if I start a point here and and I and I th throw a ray basically uh, when it reaches that it's gonna it's gonna follow that and but on the other side when it reaches that it's actually gonna go that way so instead of the direction instead of the vector field it it will not it will not go here. That means we will uh, we will have some uh, lines that uh, that cross, uh, maybe like an, an electrical uh, electrical flow, maybe. Uh, when when you have a sender that joins, maybe we will have this kind of effect. And the way to achieve that, I think it's just like a vector field, except uh, you will need to know the initial angle, I guess. You need to yeah you need to calculate yeah so if we have a function that gives the, the vector field the angle field the angular field um, I think we need to check uh, the, the, if they are opposite or not. And uh, if they are opposite, we actually need to, to flip it to change the direction. So, yeah, change the way. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I should start from from an existing one because uh, that can I can gain some time like that. <laughs> it's a bit cheating. But. So let's see in my uh, previous creation which. Which one I will fork? Uh, actually, I think this one, uh, day 31. So, yeah, day 31 is this one. Alright, so we had, yeah, it's a, maybe not the best one. But, like, conceptually, it's pretty simple, it's just. Uh, here we have an angle that came from a field and we will just throw a bunch of lines and for each line we iterate and here we do it twice because we have actually two lines I mean two axes where, where we start lines so in my case, you know what? Yeah, I had that variable here. Oh, I think it was a bug. Because this should have been. Oh no, okay, never mind. For each line, okay. So yeah, maybe we can start simple for now first and uh, then we'll see. Ah, was I just. Okay, it's same variable names, that should be fine. 
Now let's figure this out. I will need Perlin noise. Uh, yeah, Perlin noise is great. I will keep it. So here already. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so let's simplify some code because I had I had before another uh, like I had two levels in my two two for loops. And I had some utilities so I can get keep them. I had some confused. Okay, so we have that straight from the beginning. <laughs> um, now it's not what I want. So as I said, I want to that yeah, that means I need an initial position. I need an initial angle uh, because it's not going to be an angle field. It's going to be a directional field, even though the angle. Uh, Angle could be yes. Well, how do I do that? Hmm. Oh yeah, because we need we need the initial initial position. So the initial position is uh, every time we need to know what was the previous angle, so we can know if it uh, if it's in the same direction or if it's uh, opposite. So yeah, we can have uh, we can have. Uh, last angle and then if I do two lines uh, I need a for loop but one is going to be on the right one is going to go right the other is going to go left that means we will have a different lat first like the initial value will differ And here I, I did that, I think, to have a, if I don't do that, all the lines are going to, to follow the same path. It was a hack to not make the bend going, uh, but here it's not really uh, useful yet. Okay, so my camera is dead. And it's still running, but my camera is dead, so... My battery is dead. So we really need to buy uh, an adapter. Maybe with my phone I could stream it, but uh, yeah, I need to. <coughs> I'm not gonna win. Alright, so what do we do now? I think. Uh, I think it's it's here. Um, so the difference is between two angles. It could be more or less, uh, it could be positive or negative, so I can absolute that. And if it's lower than... Um, do I have pi? I don't even have pi here. Uh, 
Uh, I think if it's lower than that, it's okay. But if it's higher, why is it just pi? No, it's 90 degrees on both sides. So we are actually on the opposite way. So we can we can do what? Yeah, I think we can just uh, rotate by uh, the other way. I think it shouldn't change anything here. Yeah, it doesn't. So now what's interesting is what happens if we if we do the same lines but on the other way. So first of all why is this not covering the full space? I think it's because Yeah, we used to reduce it so Okay, so yeah we, we can tweak later that parameters. Uh, I think they are not good enough for us. But now, uh, yeah, I want the line. Actually, I want it to be a bit like before, uh, like the, the other examples. We want uh, a loop that uh, do different rows. Maybe we can do even more than two rows. Uh, but at least two is uh, good enough for testing. And now we can just do something here. So what do we do? We want to. You can just tweak it like that for now. As if. All right. So now, still, whoa! <laughs> That's, this one is like has jumped out of the of the thing for some reason. But uh, it's still not what I want. What I want is to have the initial direction to be opposite. So for one of the lines. So actually R can be modulus 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 can be we can use the modulus and just do it trans cast it as float. So it's gonna be one or zero. And then we, we multiply by two, by pi, by, by pi. Oh my god, I have a time to explain. And close that. It doesn't. Oh, it does work actually. We can see here that it's doing this direction, and here it's doing this direction. So my logic is working. But now uh, it's not uh, meeting. It's not colliding. Which uh, I mean, it makes sense because uh, the field is not really heavy. It's not really. So we can we can change everything now in the field itself. Why is this doing that? Yeah, I think I was... Okay, we can remove that. I think it was just... Actually, I don't know what it was. Oh, okay, x, the x value is actually going to, to increase the field, but we don't need that. We can remove a lot of code now. Uh, okay, so... There were a few frequencies at stake. Why would it go down here and actually down in the both cases? So I guess it's just because of random, or maybe not. I don't really see why. Okay. Okay, so now it seems to do what I want.
because it's like it's it's symmetry it should be symmet somehow symmetrical i mean it's, uh, they will follow the same uh, path but on the other way uh, yeah i don't really know what's going on here i don't really understand why, why it's doing like that okay so we have to think in uh, in uh, like everything works in gradient in a uh, radian so we are actually giving an angle in radian and that angle is uh, like absolute uh, okay I want to try something Which maybe is just uh, okay. Maybe we should just uh, start the line uh, that goes right and start the line on the right that goes left and cut stop in the middle at the meeting point. Or we can also like uh, having this like having a, a spiral that is throwing lines uh, maybe that's better there is many possibilities so I think instead of having two loops we can have one loop one loop and then the, then indeed we need to we need to know how to cut how to split the part how to know if we go right or left uh, so maybe we can uh, just Uh, yeah, we can uh, split uh, lines in two parts. So if uh, if line if L lower than lines divided by two zero otherwise pi, and then. That's it. So we have only one line now, but maybe the Y can modulate. This is that just after. Oh, it has finished. Okay, so I, I have lost again. <laughs> the result. So yeah, not really. You have to guess what it is. I think I can remove my camera. But yeah, plotter. Uh, one more point for plotter. Oh my, wow, why do I have so much uh, people at the moment? Ah no, sorry, that's the number of views. Alright, um, yeah, I'm glad I don't have too much viewers because that's a mess. Uh, until I really find a way uh, yeah, to, to have my computer being okay, uh, like with the stream, because yeah, it's pretty slow. Uh, like the dev development loop is really slow versus uh, when I don't stream, so and also my uh, battery is dead. The camera battery. So why is it not? Oh, okay. It's, it's right. Makes sense. Okay, so. It's not doing exactly what I expected, but like visually, it's not it's not that impressive. I wonder if the lines have a size, have a length. How does it stops? 
it is a total iteration. Oh, that's the length, okay, in line like that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's, why not? Um, actually, what I want to try now is to, instead of having a line, because everything emits from a line and it's going even higher or lower, it's, yeah, it's not great. But actually, we can modulate the Y, making like a, a wave. But if the wave is really fast, then you actually have like a, a range of, of emits, of emitting uh, positions. So, yeah, I can try that. And then I need to figure out what the. Oh, what I mean. <coughs> As F64, and we want to multiply it by something a bit lower. And then I think we want to multiply by something higher. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, that's nice. I like it. And you know what? I think the edge edge should be like you know like a chromo like a chromosome. Like when two cells two cells are splitting, you have the chromosomes going out. So if we we could recreate this effect. But we don't need to, I mean, this is great. It looks like uh, some mountains, maybe. Some hills. So the length can be increased now. No problem with that. So it appears the logic is working. I mean, the, 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 that the, what we implemented is uh, is working. So the angles, it's no longer a vector angle. Uh, sorry, a vector field. It's more a directional field. So uh, yeah, if your line is uh, going in more opposite way as the vector, it's going to actually uh, be rotated by on the other way to follow the to follow the line instead of following the way, the way to go. It's following just the, the axis of direction, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, maybe I can scale, maybe I can, uh, I can push that a bit. Usually I will do it by the size of the of the pen of the brush because then I, I make sure my brush don't collide. That make sure the so brush don't collide. But here it's it's already too much. We don't need a lot. It just will make uh, it will make the line going more. Uh, bold because otherwise every line is going to the same path like here we have one line and it's actually just every time every line is going there the problem with bold is we sometimes don't really want that so another way is to implement an algorithm that would uh, keep track of the positions so we would stop we would stop before uh, drawing again the same line that's what I started the other day but I didn't really finish it anyway uh, I don't know if I keep that to be honest I don't know like this This breaks, like this kills the, the thing, this 
makes it work, makes it a bit less interesting. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I, I think I just don't need to do too much uh, length. And then I maybe I can tweak my uh, my noise. I can tweak my noise because this is better, like, right? It's much better. So yeah, keep that and. I don't know what should I do in term for the noise. Should I go higher in higher frequencies? Because it's gonna it's gonna do that. But every line every line is gonna join, and uh, that's a problem. That's a problem with vector field. Uh, but another way to solve that is what I used uh, for one of my creation. Uh, what I did is uh, instead of doing uh, vector, uh, instead of doing vector fields, it's more uh, this one. It's more about uh, yeah, it's more about giving the, the an angle increment. So you increment. So maybe there is an idea to dig here. Uh, instead of straight away following the new angle, the new angle actually is going to mix a bit with the last angle, so that is an idea, uh, we could uh, do that and actually it's compatible with that idea because now I, I don't have any problem with doing, uh, with implementing that way otherwise we would be troubled by uh, the fact if we go straight away in the other direction then if you do the average, if you, do the, if you mix, it makes no sense but with angles that are a bit more uh, following the same path, this should be fine. So angle needs to be angle plus so if I do that, it's just angle equal last angle. So it's just undoing. Uh, but if I multiply that here then I will take a bit of like the previous so meaning I will take into account the previous angle and it's like a smoothing it's mixing, mixing the values mixing the angles but I'm not sure this is really gonna fix the problem of the lines going again in the same path so we see it's like delay a bit, delays a bit the problem, but does not fix it. Actually, we, actually we want it higher too. Yeah, that makes it less uh, constrained, less, and this is this is weird. Why do I have a line like that? That makes no sense. So yeah, wh what we want is then instead if the if is not a direct is not a, a vector field is more a, a rotation field. How much do you rotate? And that's what I did. What's that's what I did in uh, in the ex in the other example of the other day. So yeah, which gave g gave some interesting results, but uh, for my case it doesn't work much still give something uh, so I don't know, you tell me <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can use it a bit ah, I'm not sure oh, ok, so an idea is to pass to the field my, li my line number, my line index. That way we can change a bit the logic. So but everything is going to not follow the same. Uh, yeah, depends on how I use it. Okay, so let's try. So I'm gonna normalize that. And then I have a line L value that is moving from 0 to 1 and I can take, th take that into account as part of something 
I don't know what. But I can try that. <coughs> That's making it's gonna make it rotate more and more and more. So I don't know <laughs> I don't know which side it's gonna go. But, and it's not great for uh, for our thing. Okay, so it's more like that. It's not great for our logic that mirror. Okay, sorry. Actually, yeah, we don't need to we don't need to give types, right? Okay, just do that. I don't understand why he's doing that. So now I should have value that is always positive, meaning it's gonna rotate. Oh yeah, but it's mirroring, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see. Why is this not working? Do I need to give a type? Apparently yes. That's real. So I have nothing plotting right now. Uh, I think I should try now. I should plot something. And I will put back my camera. But next time, I know what to buy. An adapter for having the camera always working. And I have. So I, I need to have two plots in advance to, <laughs> to not stop. Because right now, nothing is plotting. And but I think if as soon as I, have, as I have something like that, you just tweak the seed and you can make a few plotting. That's easy. Yeah, maybe we can. And uh, yeah, once I have that done, I think I'm I'm gone. Uh, I will uh, finish the stream. So I did uh, today, uh, I would have done today uh, three, uh, three creations. So the first one, I think, which was the most interesting one, uh, is this one. The second one is a uh, I mean, you, I let you guess what it is. <laughs> uh, and, and the third one is coming, is right now on your screen, but not yet plotted. So here we have a variation of uh, of the Berlin noise based on length, based on the line number, but it seems to work, yeah, okay, that gives something. Um, okay, so do we need to tweak something now? Do we need to tweak that value to make it higher, more spread, or less? Actually, we want less. But yeah, I would like maybe to play with the, the idea I had before, which it will uh, be a bit more uh, stretch. How do I do that? Yeah, we need to give that value. Yeah, yeah that's something. I mean, yeah, it's some code to write. It's okay. I don't need that. Uh, I think what I need is to find better or noise or better seeds and now that's the fun part is to script to, to throw a bunch of uh, tries and then you find the nice nice ones okay so 
how do you how do you go about learning the math behind the plots? So, I mean the plots the plot itself. Uh, The plotter, the plotter itself, the, I mean, drawing for drawing this, uh, it's just you generate SVG and then the plot, uh, you give that to the plotter. But uh, I guess you mean, yeah, like this art. Um, I mean, th there is not much math in here, um, except uh, trigonometry. Uh, trigonometry, yeah. So, like this, uh, yeah, I, I, um, essentially what I did here is uh, fill the vector. I, I use the field vector, field the, the field vector. Yeah. So uh, I, in any point in space, um, I have to figure out what is the angle. Angle, and if you do something interesting, then uh, you have, a, you can throw lines. You can throw lines for a bunch of positions, and then they will follow that that field. It's like a wind. It's like a waves. Uh, and that's what I've used here. Uh, then we have Perlin, it's, a, it's just a noise function. Uh, instead of just doing random, because random is just gonna be re really fuzzy, really weird. Uh, here it's a way to, to have more patterns. So it's a function, it's really a helper to, that is a lot of, uh, that is doing a lot here. Uh, but yeah, for this specific uh, plot, for this specific uh, art, it's, there's not so much uh, math. But yeah, what's important is to know a bit of trigonometry uh, for the angle. Uh, but yeah, I, I think essentially it's, it came from, uh, from math uh, I learned at school. Uh, but uh, yeah, tri in trigo for trigonometry essentially, uh, and uh, yeah, polar coordinate. So yeah, if you know polar coordinate, that can help a lot. Polar coordinate system. So how do you move from one coordinate to the other? You, when you do plotting, when you do this kind of creative art, uh, creative coding, uh, you, uh, personally, I, most of the time, it's about it's about doing that. It's about doing. Uh, moving from one coordinate to the other, I mean, most of the time uh, it's uh, some geometry, so you, <laughs> usually you have some trigonometry, essentially, cosinus and sinus. But yeah, I don't know why this article is so complex, but yeah, I guess it gets, gets pretty far in, in uh, all of this, but yeah, this is the basic uh, to know. So yeah, when you move from uh, one world to the other, except here it's more about uh, yeah, earlier. so more about imaginary, imaginary number. Anyway, uh, yeah. So when you have an angle, how do you how do you move your point by that angle? Uh, you just uh, on x you will add uh, the cosinus of that angle, and on y you will add the sinus of that angle, and you multiply by how much you move. And essentially, with that, that's how we can move your line, move our line, iterate on our lines. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I think you can do uh, you can do small experiments step by step. You can really it, it's not it's not so hard math. And yeah, if you do shaders, because this is not really a shader, it's more a, a plot with a drawing uh, with SVG, but if you do shaders, uh, I also recommend to look at uh, shader toy and try to figure out uh, step by step what it's doing, because yeah, there is a lot of tricks, there is a lot of things to learn. But yeah, once you have passed that, I guess it's, uh, it's not that uh, complex. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. So sometimes I mean sometimes you have an idea in mind and you say okay, I think this could work and then you try it and then it's do something else. But uh, yeah, so sometimes uh, usually algorithm like you have an algorithm in in head like oh, how do you have, how do you solve that problem? Then you, you try to think on paper and try to see how we can uh, 
Heb je een ontzet in? Ja. Yeah. But uh, yeah, for, like, for instance, the field is with noise. Like I cannot guess. I, I have no clue what's going to happen for, because it depends also on the seed. So yeah. Okay, so this gives uh, more power to. All right. So what I'm gonna try now on the command line. I'm going to loop so I'm gonna do I'm gonna run that and for each iteration I'm gonna switch I'm gonna change the seed the seed is a parameter I give here that is that gets injected so yeah, I should do that that gets injected as a as a noise uh, parameter That means every iteration is going to be different and we are going to be able to see different uh, results. And I did that in the past, so you can see I had previous, uh, previous experiments. But yeah, that, that's a nice trick because you... What's going on here? Oh, okay, it's not working. It's not running. You don't know that you don't know in advance. Uh, like for the noise, you don't know in advance. You and it's a bit exploratory. So yeah, you explore different noise, trying to see what uh, what kind of uh, what do you want at the end. So I think that's the final phase when you have implemented your your uh, your art. Uh, you just will find uh, uh, something that interests you. Uh, I like this kind of, an, it's like a note. Okay, it's interesting. I, I tr I'm trying to figure out something. Why is all, are all the lines going through the same path? Or? It's a bit different. I don't know why. I guess with the L parameter. Okay, so uh, yeah, what do I want at the end? Like, hmm? it's interesting when when it goes a bit outside. I think we could throw we could throw even more lines. Uh, like here, we have only thirty, like three hundred. I think we could go four hundred and maybe lower the length. Maybe not. Let's try. Actually, I can see it live. I don't need to go in the folder. I can also see the iteration going live because it keeps continue it keeps so yeah it will update oh I really like this so I, I have increased the number of lines and it's already much better but it's gonna be a lot of lot of line to draw let's try five thousand five hundred So the risk here is that my uh, my paper because at the end I, I plot with a with a with a robot right, and I, I fear a bit that when you have a line that every like every line is going through that uh, the paper is not gonna like it it's gonna start digging into the paper or, or I don't know it's gonna be ugly. I fear a bit that kind of problem, but otherwise it's really great. Wow, nice. So, wow, I, I like it. I wonder if I should, if I should, should change a bit. Because uh, the, the starting point of my lines is actually a, a wave. So, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Come on, refresh. Okay. Uh, why? Okay, maybe even smaller. 
just want to see I want to see if we see the wave if it's any better or... okay so you see we have a wave here that's the starting point that's the starting uh, that like every line starts here uh, and indeed we don't really want that uh, because we don't really want to see that uh, magic behind but that's how it works and then I, I, uh, I compress it a lot in a way that we don't even see it anymore so here if I double it it's gonna be like that if I double it again it's gonna be like that and, every, uh, and yeah Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's like music. Yeah. You are right. It's a bit like uh, having different octaves, uh, like, yeah, like different frequencies. So here it's like frequencies, and then this is amplitude. So exactly, exactly like music. Yeah. And a Perlin noise. What is what is a Perlin noise? Uh, so yeah, it's after the name of uh, Ken Perlin. Uh, who actually uh, was working on the Tron movie so uh, he, he made that Berlin noise for the Tron movie to have a like, nice texture in Tron if I understand it correctly and uh, it, essentially a Berlin noise generates something like that so instead of having a pure noise which will be uh, like white and black randomly uh, distributed here it's not really randomly distributed, it has some pattern, it's like you blur, you blur at few, at a few levels, that's essentially how it works by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, depending on, the, depending on the frequency you use, you have a zoom, you have a different zoom. And more you unzoom, like if you use a really high frequency, at the end it's just noise. <laughs> smart contract. Well, I mean, I mean, in any game, in games in general, it's used a lot. Uh, yeah, it's uh, like uh, it's really popular actually. But for contract, I guess it's a it's the it's a game smart contract, right? <laughs> also, right. Uh, I'm not sure why we we will use Perlin noise, but. Okay, so yeah, we can still see a bit the, the, the wave, so I'm just gonna... Actually, I don't need to multiply by anything, I can keep it like that. And yeah, the, the hard part is to, to figure this out, like to, to choose something. So, let me run again. So I think I can run forever, like... Anyway, we keep it running for. So I double. Okay, do I? So uh, if I recall, like if I put a really high value here, it's uh, the problem is the lines are going to join too quick. Yeah, it's not going to do that. So. I mean, it's, it's, there is something into that, but uh, it's not really what I want. And uh, for my pen, it's not going to be great. So I can do that maybe. Two, four, eight, and then... Usually we give more importance to that part and less to that part, but... Uh, here if I... Let's try to put a crazy number out just to see. I think it's going to be... <laughs> yeah, no. It's, it's another style. I wonder if, if what would happen if I put it really lower. So what's great is when you have a field like that, 
then you can combine it with something else. And you can combine with an image and, uh, I don't know, like draw, draw a bit differently based on the color of the image. And then you actually will see the image through that. Um, like it's great. Right now I'm still iterating on over, uh, over like different, uh, uh, like the different primitives. And then at some point you say, okay, let's combine these different primitives. So here we have a field noise. Uh, sometimes I just do a lookup in an image and just do basic stuff with it. But now let's, <laughs> we could imagine mixing different concepts together. And then I think it can be really powerful. So yeah, at some point I will do that. So uh, I don't know why it's no longer really interesting. I, I didn't, don't know what I <laughs> what I undo, but uh, I should go back to something similar as before. So I think I had a value higher here. Doesn't really change anything. And I need to put back my plotter so it do something. All right. So let's figure things. So. First of all, what color do I need? Should I just plot black and white or... I don't think I ever plot that... Oh, I actually did. White and black. But uh, it's expensive, white and black. I mean, white pens, a bit more expensive. <laughs> and a bit more unreliable. It can do pretty bad. It's hard to master, basically. It's uh, the hardest. Okay, I, I think it's great as a, as a default and just need to figure out what, uh, which one I select. So, essentially our formula is simplified as just summing three parallel noise together with the two, four and eight. And I don't know why it's uh, not really centered, I think. Which can be that. Okay. And that makes it center. So. Okay. Maybe it can be a bit. Yeah, I think that can do it. So let's try one last time. And I tend to have a lot of uh Yeah. Okay, yeah, how do how do you come up with the algorithm? Um That's a hard question, I mean, <laughs> I guess with practice, I mean, in, in uh, programming in general, uh, but uh, yeah, I guess uh, I mean, if you look at the first, ex the first thing I had ever, uh, I mean, yeah, it was parametric function, so it was easy. But yeah, I mean, probably by ramping up on, on many, many ideas, uh, probably it gets more and more complex here. But uh, yeah, here there is basically two loops. Uh, one loop is about all the lines, so for each line. And then inside, I have an initial position. So the initial position is a, is a changing, ba is changing based on the, the line index itself. And then for each line, uh, I need to iterate that my line by uh, by uh, actually one millimeter, so one millimeter after one millimeter. 
and uh, yeah, the 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 direction where I go it actually depends on on my field. And yes, then it's just so SVG is pretty straightforward. I mean, you have to do line two, move move two. So yeah. But yeah, like the general, uh, yes, I mean, in general, uh, coming up with an algorithm, I, mean, yeah, I think it really depends uh, from one person to the other. But yeah, usually I would think a bit on paper, uh, depending on how hard it is. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so what? <coughs> So yeah, the hard part is, is choosing one, <laughs> and usually I spend a lot of time looking at uh, looking at a lot of examples, and they're all and they're all nice. <laughs> Which one do I choose? But yeah, for. for um, I, I, I like to use uh, like um, like to draw uh, on, a, on a whiteboard for uh, especially for geometric geometrical problem. I mean, uh, yeah. The other day I used it uh, I used it to to think about the, how I will connect my dots. I, I used uh, I used Excalidro. Uh, like you can draw you can draw things. Uh. Anyway. So can I? Ah. So I like when it's doing uh, when it's joining a bit, but it needs to diverge a bit away. Like this one is great. But not that much. Yeah, this one maybe. Which number is that? Oh shit. What? Why don't I see the number? Oh, okay. 35, 34. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice approach. It's like uh, you give the general idea of your of your of your art, and then you just throw a bunch of uh, tries, and you choose among them. Yeah, I really like this idea, and I think you have to you have to because uh, you still need to be the the person to choose. Uh, wow, and there is so so much variety in like this. It's quite interesting. So much different, actually. And these two are, are pretty great. I like these two. This one is great. It's quite different from the others, but uh, yeah, the problem is the lines are joining. It's okay. It's different. <laughs> And usually, what I will what I will do is I will just uh, copy paste. I will I will move them in uh, in my folder. So I, I yeah sure. Thanks a lot for coming by. Oh, I will keep them, and then I do a, a last pass. To choose, and then I will cut. I will finally be able to plot again. If my camera don't die. All right. It's Actually, on the other way, the other way is actually yeah, it's following the same uh, the same channel. 
same cat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I like that one. It's actually quite different from the others, so... I hesitate. Do I keep it or not? Mm. Yeah, I will keep it. It looks like a flower a bit. On the side, if you think. quite similar. I want one that is a bit uh, a bit more basic. Like this one. It's a bit less diverging. Uh, Hard work is to find a good one, but uh, yeah. I can I can throw more tries. Hmm, this one is great. Yeah. This one is great. Oh, so much, so many great ones. Right. Okay, so what? I think I'm close to some. I'm, I think I can start with one of them. I can do two plots. I can do two plots in a row. I can do one, one and the other. Why is this here? Oh, I. I move them. Okay, it was not a good folder. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> ah, what's going on? It's really hard to choose one. Yeah, they are great. <laughs> they are all great. <laughs> but I, I like the, I think this one is my prefer my preference or maybe the last one. Yeah, I know it's gonna be too much, too close. Actually, yeah, that's the problem of these two ones. The lines are quite close, so it's gonna be a path. That is going. I, I wonder if I should throw more lines, but uh, I think we should try with this one. And uh, yeah, I need to choose. A, I need to choose a background. If I use one of the papers, uh, I need to choose a background color, or I, or I just do white. My wife is always saying me, uh, I should just do white. Why do why do you use colors? It's better black and white. But uh, yeah. Actually, I don't have any any A for uh, white. <laughs> That's my problem. All right. Uh, Do a bit of pink, like light pink, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna turn on my camera. Hopefully I have enough battery, but I always run out of battery, so I will need to buy a, an adapter. Anyway, 
I put it back on and you will see it shortly, all right? So in my background here, uh, here we can have, yeah, so we have my camera with, on my plotter and some pens. So let's see. And lights. <laughs> okay, so what I need now is to find a pen. I think I need a dark pen. I need a, I need a black pen. So I have a few of them here, which have Nabras on, on them, and the Nabras actually is a. Oh, I cannot do that. My anyway. 0.6 uh, millimeters uh, and what's great is when you have your SVG so I need to open it you can uh, I mean your, la your line height your line width actually is going to be in, in millimeters as well so here I was having 0.2 so that means I need a 0.2 pen the problem is with my pens uh, is they don't really respect that much and uh, this, this brand uh, is not that great uh, yeah I don't remember anyway which one is great but uh, I really like these pens it's classical ones we usually use it uh, for writing as well but uh, like for uh, doing a lot of loops they are pretty great uh, but here we we are here. So to, what do we need to? And now I don't really know what's going what's going to happen if I draw uh, blue on, on that. But maybe we can try. Uh, it's a bit uh, contrast. It's a bit more. Uh, it's like on the on the. This is my try. Uh, Okay, so like if we write blue, it's actually black on, on red. So I can do that. I can use a pilot, a blue pilot, because uh, yeah, th this one are, are actually uh, quite fast to. Uh, I fear I fear they will not last long. So I will keep them for later uh, for other things. Right, so now I need to align my paper. Oops. All right. So are we good? So. I go in escape. And then so we have this uh, plugin for Axidro. Axidro is a brand of, of my robot, of my plotter. And uh, yeah, we can define a, a speed. So here it's too, uh, it's too slow. Twenty, I think, can be better uh, because it was made mainly for the white. When we did the white plotting, just just at the beginning of the stream, we we did that. Uh, and uh, yeah, for the white plotting, we actually needed to slow it down. Even uh, and even slowing it down, you can see. Uh, I don't know if it's easy to see, but. Uh, where, where do we have some defaults? Uh, I mean here. Uh, why do we take a close look? Yeah, we can see some defaults, like the the the, the color has uh, has stopped a bit, flowing, the ink, the white ink, 
Uh, and it's a bit, of, it's a bit of pain. Uh, this pain, uh, this pain. Uh, how is it called? Uh, like the ball, ball uh, pen, uh, the, I don't know how you call that. But like the jelly, jelly, jelly roll, like this ones. Uh, this one are pretty hard to master. Uh, I, I found one that is pretty great. Uh, which one is it? And I think this, it's the one I have used, even though it, we still have problems. But like this one, mini ball. Uh, so anyway, let, let's let's launch the thing. Um, are we good? I think we are. I'm just gonna check. Okay, I think the pen is too high. I think the pen is a bit too high. It's not gonna touch. I have trouble seeing if it's blurry or not. <laughs> um, yeah, the, we have a way to check, so I need to put a paper under it. Just go down. Okay, it's touching, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we can start. So it starts by uh, signing. <laughs> Because that's like uh, in my SVG, uh, it's I start I have added uh, the signature in first, but yeah, it's not how we should do it normally. <laughs> should do it at the end. Should sign at the end. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. So we have problems with the pen. Maybe it's too fast. It's weird. These pens are not supposed to. Okay. Maybe it's just at the beginning. It's, Oh, no, 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 terrible. Sometimes you can just put a bit, some hate. So I have an idea, it's like <laughs> a way to, to fix the problem right now. Just to use some, <laughs> some of these. We'll add, add some uh, eight, some weight. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's a disaster. <laughs> oh no! Why is it not? Okay. Okay, so I will stop. Uh, I don't know why is this plugin. You cannot click. So what I do is I just unplug the, the USB. But <laughs> and now I need to. Oh shit! It's pressing. I need to reset it. So I plug it back. And I will. So it's gonna. Oh shit. What? Okay, and my my uh, my. Oh, that's a disaster. My camera is dead, or no? It's still working. Okay, please go up. Okay. So what was the problem here? I don't really understand. Yeah, so you can see how it's... Uh, the challenge is not really the programming. Because <laughs> we discuss about math, that is complex and everything, but... The challenge is not the programming in here, it's just the... The paper... Or the pens. So hopefully we have to, to face, we have to try, <laughs> we have two chance. Uh, is blue great? I don't think so. Oh, it's okay. So yeah, one last try. I don't know what's happening with that pen.
it's working right so I don't know what, what happened it's too fast maybe Okay, so I think this Okay, so I don't know why uh, why it was not printing why 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 was it Then up mosh movement speed. I have never touched this other sp like writing speed in percentage. I never went above uh, three uh, thirty. <laughs> I have no clue how it would uh, be at, uh, at one hundred percent. And then we have pen up speed. Okay. Acceleration. Pen raising speed. Pen lowering speed. Pronal delay after raising pen. <coughs> so yeah, you, you don't want you don't want that because then you are going to have a big dot with with ink flowing. <laughs> I, I don't know who wants that. Maybe there are some pens that make sense or some brush. Anyway, uh, let's do that. Let's do it. So, should we lower it even more? Maybe. It's gonna be super slow, but 12%. Okay. Second try and last one because uh, then I will have burned my paper because I had a failure. So let's. Oh, what was that noise? Okay, it's not slow. <laughs> Why is it so fast? <laughs> it, it takes some time to figure out like the path. I think it's because my path is huge. I guess it optimizes. Oh, it's. Face. So anyway, I will let it run like that. It's okay. There's some uh, there's some default. I don't know why it's uh, okay. I think the pen have a, have, a tr have an issue with uh, when it's going up. Yeah, no. So yeah, I, I can. I actually want to. I actually want to plot another one after, and uh, I will use. A, I will use a gold, a gold color maybe, or another color. So this is the one we are plotting, I think. Uh, I think we should have throw much more lines for this pen because uh, we can see the we can see the lines they are not joining and it's uh, it's a bit an issue. Like here, it's not great.
raising my saber. Yeah. The pen is uh, is not flowing well. And what sucks is I cannot stop. I think there is a bug in, in my plugin because uh, I, I cannot click that button. I cannot cancel. It says cancel in French, but I cannot cancel. So. Sucks. So anyway, we'll uh, come back later to to another one. I don't remember which one I'm plotting actually. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, 46. Yeah. And uh, yeah, next time, next time I'm gonna gonna plot this one. Doing a small uh, small pose, gonna get some water, and then I think I I want to do one last uh, one last thing. Oops! Not worry.
So yeah, it's it's a bit disappointing. So that's what you learn uh, by plotting it for real, because then you see uh, you see that the width is not. Uh, you see problems with the pen. You see uh, the the width of the pen to be not big enough. You see uh, you could draw more lines. So yeah, I mean then you use a, a bigger pen. Uh, it's it's quite complex. It's quite. Uh, Alright, so what do I do now? Uh, one last thing. Alright, one last thing, and then I'm I'm good. Um, Alright, so we move that uh, work in progress into live uh, three. That was our third. Uh, And then I'm just gonna watch uh, cargo watch. All right. I I need a template that is simpler than that or like more useful because I don't I don't find this very useful. Uh, all right, we have a white thing now. And. We, we will have time uh, for this plot. We will have another plot uh, with the same, uh, the same uh, previous example with another uh, seed. <coughs> but now, all right, let's just, let me just uh, share again the previous one because I just want to, to do a small screenshot. How do I do that? Oh, okay, preview. All right. Small screenshot, so I can share it on Twitter. Okay, <coughs> let's do this now. Alright, so I want to try something simple. Uh, but that could be interesting. Uh, start again with the idea where we have a circle as a, as a starting point for emitting values. Uh, and then, Censoring lines from the to the center, and the lines get diverged, di di like di get uh, like ba based on an image. You, the, the lines will go uh, will go on various angles. Uh, hmm, that can be interesting, but that means we reuse a bit the same logic as before. So I'm keeping that just to save time. It's not very interesting otherwise. 
Um, okay, we don't need Berlin noise for now. We can just stick to the basic. So why do we have? Oh, we still have just two loops. That's okay. Uh, right, perfect. So we can keep that. <coughs> And we don't need Berlin noise, our field is going to be simple. But for now, we can keep Berlin noise. Alright. So. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't remember why I put that as helpers. That's not helping. I should probably make them part of my uh, lib because I'm using it twice. Except. Uh, I think it's more uh, normalized. Uh, it's more like a clamp, not really. Normalize. All right, let's make it explicit. I have too much thing uh, on my computer that is slowing down, I don't know why. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Alright, so it's the, same, it's the same thing as before. So now, we change a bunch of things. First of all, we change the initial positions. We actually will want them to be around a, a circle. So how do we do that? Well, um, we need to do this. We need to draw around the center. And then we need some kind of amplitude of the circle, like the radius. So, circle radius. I think we can put 90. <coughs> and then, C radius times, so L. So we need an angle. Why do I have full battery now? <laughs> it makes no sense. Alright, so uh, we have a circle now.
So what do we need to do is to to make the initial angle as part of the field. But then I don't know. I don't know if I can simply add that as part of that. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe that works. Uh, actually, maybe that doesn't work. Uh, I, I think we need to change the idea of field. It's not no longer a field. It's more a, it's more a rotation, a rotation field. For a given x and y, how much do I rotate? How much do I need to increment the angle of my line? So we don't need that. We can just rotate based on Berlin noise for now, and uh, so that means our, we need to accumulate an angle. So our angle actually is a variable that evolves that change over time. So we initialize that. Uh, for now, we just do zero, but it's not going to be zero because we want the lines to, to go to the center uh, for, for the thing I want to achieve. So, and by the way, it's going to use an image. That's the plan. So we uh, will use an image to to follow the, the image, I don't know, like grayscale gray of the image. We follow the image to to have an impact on the light. But now, for now, just barely noise. Uh, all right, so uh, our field is renamed rot, like rot, rot field, like rotation. So I think we just do that. Uh, I don't think we need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. All right, so that should be working. Is this still uh, streaming the camera because I have some battery problem on my camera? Yeah, it's still working, all right. <laughs> oh, by the way, I can, I'm not anymore aligned. Just to save some space, all right. All right, let's let's do this. So, okay, we don't need that anymore. So, is this compiling? Yes, and running. All right. <laughs> so we have a nice uh, moire effect uh, here that you can see. Uh, Okay, so why why is this not really working? Uh, I guess we are we are just rotating to not enough, really too small. So, iteration, iteration. Okay, yes. All right, and now it's too much. But actually, the initial angle needs to be uh, needs to be the. So this is the angle of the, of the for the circle. Uh, I think we need to use it. Maybe it's not. Uh, it's, it's it's reversed. Maybe I need to add a pi. Yeah. Maybe it's a better idea to do the middle and spread away. Hmm. What I fear is by doing that, if I reach the center, everything is going to everything is going to collide at the middle, and indeed for my plot, 
uh, the pen, is, <laughs> you don't want to draw it too much at the same place. Okay, here, uh, here I think we can see uh, that it's a bit ugly, right? Anyway, th that plot is... Uh, that plot is, is not that great to me. It's a bit of failure, so the pen is not... Yeah, it's not great. I had some issue uh, also with the, with the ink. So yeah, that's the hard part. The hard part is not the programming, <laughs> for me. It's mostly the, the pen and paper of yeah, finding the good combination, finding the... Yeah, you have to do a lot of try and, try and error, I guess. Sometimes you just get it straight away from the beginning and it's great, but here it was a bit of fail. Alright, so what do we do now? It's a bit it's a bit weird. Uh, I'm not sure to understand what's happening here. Why, why do we... Why do we have nothing here? Oh, it's rotating just a tiny bit. Maybe it's just the frequency. Anyway, we, we are not planning to use Perlin noise. This was just to debug. Maybe we could use it. Maybe we need it. Uh, yeah. But anyway, we will... I want to try an image now, so let's see. So I, I want an image, I, I need to see what image I have. I have the, the dragoon of the, that I used on the first, uh, on the first uh, plot. So we had a... Uh, what did we do? It was a second. Okay, so I'm just reusing the the function. So we have a dragon JPEG. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's try. So we can do the grayscale of the of the image. Oh, that's weird. It's not gonna work. Oh, uh, actually, it's. What? <laughs> uh, what is this value, x and y? Normalize. Oh, okay, it's for the big. Uh, okay, the big size. Okay, I think we need to. We need to do two hundred. And yeah. Yeah, it's not great. I don't see how we can how it can work. All right, we have an issue with the boundaries. Uh, because uh, when we get the image color, it's going out of bounds. Uh, that's what I see in the command line. So, hmm. what's going on here? It was working before, why? Right? Right? 
So yeah, I, I think we can, we can, what I can, what I can do is just if it's out of bounds, it's just gonna return zero. I'm not sure if, if it's equal or not. We'll see. Uh, yeah, uh, it's <laughs> it's a bit a mess right now. Why is this doing that? So I don't know if I should reverse that actually. Like. It's a big mess. It doesn't work. This, this idea doesn't work. Alright, so I have another idea now because this is doesn't work, this is definitely doesn't work. Yeah. So I'm gonna change a bit. I'm doing a spiral uh, like now. So yeah, no longer uh, just a circle, it's doing a spiral. But uh, the spiral is going to be it's going to be just <coughs> one 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 I don't know you call that one radius spiral so we can choose another value like uh, 20 spin one spin yeah and uh, yeah, then we need to have more lines, I guess, we'll see. Oh, 
Okay, what's going on here? Oh yeah. Okay, wait. Oh, okay, sorry, it's here. Uh, maybe we need to... No, that's okay. Yeah, that, that, is, that is not enough lines now. So yeah, it's, it's a bit challenging. This idea is a bit challenging. So I guess, uh, yeah, for a lot of, yeah. It's gonna be a pretty specific to my needs. Specific to this uh, size. Uh, I actually wonder if I should point in the middle, maybe, yeah. Come on, redraw. What? It has not finished. It said it redrawn, but... It does read raw, but it's not. Uh, it does not really change a lot. Okay, so yeah, it's not great. Ah. I don't know how to solve that problem, but uh, we want less and less lines when it reaches the middle. I don't really know how to solve that. That. Uh, Oh, maybe we can... We can square root that. It was in absolute, so that's why. Right, so it's not affecting anything enough, so... Yeah, I don't know what's... I don't know what's interesting about this plot. It means it will miss something. Okay, so what's okay? So when it's white, uh, it needs to. Okay, so let's check something. Square root is too uh, is too uh, powerful. So we need uh, something between square root and and, uh, and linear. So it's something uh, like pow of uh, zero point. Uh. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, 
You know what? Screw the screw the circle idea. I think it's uh, I think it's not working with the circle. Um, I think we can plot the whole surface of that. Uh, yeah, I, I cannot figure out the. Oh, actually, I need a, a golden angle spiral. Uh, maybe I can reuse something. I've used it in the past. Like the idea is to to use golden angle, which is a value uh, that spreads the, 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 the in a pre that spreads the, the something around the spir spiral in a pretty great way. And uh, yeah, I can try that. So yeah, zero point six I was using. So it's like instead of the instead of doing that, I just multiply by i. I don't know if it will work. I don't see any change. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, finally. All right, so yeah, it's a better way spread, but yeah, still the middle is real. Maybe the lines should be bigger. Outside, longer outside. That's real. No, it's, it's a bad idea. So I don't know if we see it, but there is a, there is a dragon here. But maybe I should scale. Scale it a bit, translate it. I think I, I need another image as well, so yeah, something more interesting. I'm not even sure about the idea. I don't know. It's real. So essentially it's gonna do circles when there is a, a color and it's gonna do lines when there is no colors. So yeah, I, don't know. I think I can try uh, I can try that idea on just X and Y. Like we have a dimension now, so It's not great here. Uh, yeah, I need to stop at that. <coughs> so 
every lines are going are going to the right. Uh, I think I need to offset to make it more interesting. I should offset uh, one half of the time. Uh, what do I do that? Here. Okay. Why? Um, yeah. So why modulo Yeah. <laughs> oh, I is it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have uh, a music, <laughs> music from my phone. I'm uh, actually I'm gonna stop it because I'm done with it. But yeah, we have a. Yeah. It's an axi an axi draw. And it has been doing my plot for a long time now, but uh, even though it's a bit of failure to me because we we have some issues uh, with some lines with the pen essentially. Thanks. So yeah, I, I uh, essentially throw some lines on a, on a vector field and yeah, experimented a bit with. A Actually, it's not it's not a, it's not really a vector field. It's a, I don't know how you call it. It's more a directional field. It's like a uh, you you are following the same uh, the same vector field. Uh, but if you go from the if you come from the right you will take the reverse angle essentially so so that means we we are trying to match uh, lines together uh, yeah oh it's done all right just in time and now i want to actually do the same but with uh, with another color uh, actually uh, on on dark on a dark paper with probably a gold color so yeah let's try that Okay, so we draw, what was it? And finally, silence, finally. Yeah, yeah, so that's the plan of my stream is I life code at the same time as I do plotting. So I life code the next plot. <laughs> And uh, I did uh, three, three, three plots today. So and I'm on the third one. Uh, sorry, I did three, and I'm doing the fourth. So yeah, the third one I, I did was uh, so the one I just plotted was this one. That's the one we can see. So it's it looks a bit better with uh, okay. So sorry, you don't see the full picture, but. It looks a bit better, white and black, like that. Uh, so I think I will need to retry in the future. But anyway, it's, you never know. So that's a bit the challenge. To me, the programming is not the hard part. The hard part is more on the materials like you use. But uh, yeah. So this one was a bit diverging, and this one is a bit more interesting. So I just don't know. Ah, oh, I like this one. Yeah, you know, you know, it's always the hard part for me is to choose <laughs> which which one among the the values because basically I use a seed that that modulates and change a bit the, the some parameters so and that gives different results and then I choose among them and uh, yeah this one was interesting it looks like a flower a bit from the right oh why is it slow like that.
No, it's not the one, sorry, it's not this one. This one I just drew. Okay. My computer is having some hard time. Alright, so Inkscape. Yeah, I think I should have stretched uh, the edges like I wanted in the beginning. No, the, the dragon is not finished, but it's almost done. But uh, I, I plan actually to draw again that one. Uh, but yeah, I guess at the end I will, <laughs> when, I, when I'm satisfied with the dragon, but it's gonna be really, really slow. It's gonna re take a lot of time. Uh, I, hold on, I'm gonna show you one. I did that the other day, it took two hours, something like two hours. Uh, and it's essentially, essentially uh, the same idea of uh, vector fields, but uh, doing it on the full uh, space. But when you look, when you look closer, you you see a bit the starting lines. Not that great. Maybe it's better to look uh, from afar. But anyway, th there's some ideas. Some explorations. Um, so yeah, what should I do now? So I want to plot that. Uh, good question. It depends on the speed of you you give. I mean, you you can you can choose the speed, and uh, usually the speed. The, I mean, it's, it's always hard. It depends on your material. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to put to put too much speed here, because uh, the pen will uh, will no longer uh, print. I mean, will no longer the ink will no longer flows. The ink will no longer flow. But uh, if you don't put enough, the ink might might actually do the reverse. It might it might flow too much. So. That's a, it's a tricky, it's a tricky uh, question. So I actually wonder what, what, how to calculate that, like what 100% means. Also, I think it depends on the, if you do a straight line or if you do a curve, it actually depends. But I wonder if we can calculate. Uh, yeah, I should do it at some point. Then I can estimate, uh, <laughs> I can estimate in advance. But uh, yeah, so what should I do? Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't think it uh, helps. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a nice resolution. this one white white and blue I really like it I did it once yeah <laughs> yes yeah, it's really loud oh, I, I just received this this one it's a gel it's the same as the, the white gel I use but uh, it's with color, I, I don't know how it looks like that. It's interesting. It's nice, you, you can actually use any color on, on black. Because when you, took a, when you take a Sharpie, uh, it doesn't really do that, right? Like you, <laughs> nothing appears on black. So it's really this special pens uh, with the gel. That works well, but the thing is, when you do it really fast, it can it can can not work. So yeah, it's hard to master. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. 
Which one is this color on, on blue? Orange and blue? No. I think I'm gonna just use the classical uh, white on blue. Oh, actually, this is the one I like, I think. Oh, no, not this one. What is this one? Okay, let's try. I have a bunch of pens. Yeah, so I think this one is uh, from the best to the worst. Uh, no, so from the <laughs> worst to the best. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I think this is the lines uh, I drew here. Uh, they are more and more, more, and more uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, hmm. I think I should draw more lines. There's not enough lines. But maybe if I use a, a white that is bold enough, it should be fine. Yeah, let's try. I think there's only one way to know <laughs> is to try. Yeah, red on blue. Uh, yeah, it's hard to. I think it's hard to. You don't have enough enough contrast. But I like mixing white and blue, like coloring white and blue on uh, on uh, on white. Sorry, red and blue on white. <laughs> but uh, yeah, mixing red and blue, uh, like drawing red on blue. I think it's. Uh, I think you need to draw a lot to see, uh, yeah, to see it. Okay. But it's it's hard to choose uh, the colors. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have here? Ten percent. I'm a bit scared that it's too fast. I think I can always interrupt interrupt if it's not good enough. Okay, my signature is here. Yeah. Maybe I should move that down. Oh, it's 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 lagging. I think I can align. Come on. All right, I'm, cheat I'm cheating a, a bit because it's not the, the result of my code, <laughs> but it's uh, some tweaking. I, I think I, in the future I want to do the same with a lot of lines, but uh, I have an issue with, uh, with my uh, a limitation with al my algorithm is that I draw, I, I, don't, stop, I, I don't stop a line when it's going again to the same path and I should because uh, the pen uh, won't like it so the pen uh, if you draw uh, 100 times the at the same place uh, the pen and paper uh, it can be trouble it, you can have troubles so what's going on oh, okay it's already open here okay one and okay 10 percent speed Let's go. I just need to test. 
the tip touch. Okay, it works. That's a good. Uh, that's a good question. It's a good point. I, I started. Uh, I I have started to find some. Uh, I found some tools re recently. Uh, about actually optimizing your SVG for plotting. There are some dedicated tools to do that. So yeah, w what I've noticed is that if you if you have a path a path that is very really 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 big like a huge a huge a lot of a lot of small points in the path it takes a lot of time for the plugin to calculate uh, the instruction to to send to the motors but then it's actually fast so i, I guess it already improves something uh, yeah but yeah i think you can uh, optimize and, and actually solve what i just mentioned before yeah hmm. yeah and i tend to only use the segments i should probably use more and more some uh, some some curves especially with that kind of uh, like fields because i express it in a, in a, in angles so i should figure out the math uh, but yeah it's a bit more tricky okay it starts with a signature which i don't like because it doesn't print and you see the lag, like it has a slow, like why is it stopping? Because it's it's trying to figure that, but nothing draws right now. So, and by the way, I don't know how to do that, but I don't know how to stop the thing, <laughs> except by unplugging the USB. So, like this button does not work. I cannot do, cannot stop it. But it's supposed to, it's supposed to be possible because you can resume, uh, you can resume. But anyway, I have to unplug. Oh shit, sorry, sorry. Screen. And my camera stopped because of that. What's going on now? Because I use the same USB. It doesn't like it. This is bad. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> Back to origin. All right. So what's going on with this pen? I think it dried. It dried a bit. So yeah, that's why. Uh, that's why it's really hard. And really, the signature should be the last thing. Uh, actually, I should, uh, I should. All my plots should start by uh, drawing something, uh, something on an edge. I put a paper. It draws a bit, just, to, just for the, the, just for the pen to start. So I think I should do that for everything. The problem is uh, you did, you, you should not forget about that. <laughs> Otherwise, you actually draw on your. <laughs> or you should. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, and that's why people are doing two pass. All right, so let's try again. Ah, oh. my uh, my position was not good. Okay, I hate that. I shouldn't do.
Okay, I have some issue with my camera. I think I have no more. Yeah, I'm running out of battery. But I think I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I should uh, I should not have interrupted uh, anyway. I should have continued coding. But uh, I, I just want I just actually wanted to start that one. I uh, just had troubles, but uh, yeah. Oops, I did not want to do that. All right. <laughs> Does it improve now? Doesn't grow, right? So yeah, it's it's a bit uh, it's a bit tough to get a nice. Uh, I don't know if I should shake it a bit or I don't know. Anyway. Hey, it doesn't work. I need to press with my finger also. Yeah. Okay, my camera is dead. Not dead, but no, no more. Uh, I should have stopped the camera and I need to buy an adapter uh, for actually putting it on, uh, on wire because it doesn't, uh, doesn't last longer and maybe I need to buy a new, a new battery anyway I'm disabling that for now and you get a nice noise <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we see our dragon uh, pretty well, uh, but because we have really too much, too much lines. And you don't want to draw that. But uh, it's, a good, uh, it's, a good it's, a, it's a good hint that things are working here, so let's see. Alright, why do we have so much? Alright, so I was right. Okay, I was writing some code and didn't compile. Okay, so X. So it's so far so good, by the way, on the plotting. Uh, it just sucks that I cannot show you because I have no power battery, but... Uh... Alright, and I, as soon as possible I will, uh, I will resume, but it's gonna take a lot of time anyway. Alright, so it's getting a bit more interesting. As we... As we said the other time, so... It's gonna draw circles because it's gonna rotate by the color like when when it's dark it's gonna rotate on the it's gonna turn around right and make a circle which is not really interesting hmm. so yeah i don't know rotate field maybe we should not do rotate field Oh yeah, tie, yeah, nice, tie a piece of string onto the spin. Yeah, I should try that. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, okay, let's try something. So this is an increment, this is like a rotation. Okay, so actually if we center it, it's gonna be weird. Uh, 
come on. Why is this not working? Oh, it's just super slow. <laughs> what? Okay, obviously it's not really something we want to do. Uh, so grayscale is a, a value from zero to one, uh, and. Uh, Let's take a look at what my image is about. And maybe I should use another image. Maybe I have better idea. Maybe there is better things to draw, to plot. But uh, the dragon was that one. So yeah, it's uh, white. Dark on white. So yeah. Uh, okay, so if it's white, I want the lines to just be straight lines, so there is no... So it's white, actually. Uh, okay, so that means... Basically, we want that, I think. But maybe we can... So this value will be useful as, a, as an amplitude and then this is going to be an angle like plus or minus so we can do both directions and then that will give that effect but uh, yeah, I don't know. And we have too much line. But let's see. Uh, why? <laughs> What's going on here? Alright, we can use smooth step. It's a nice uh, utility. By the way, uh, yeah, if you don't know it, it's you. I think on Wikipedia it's documented. It's pretty great. It takes A, B, and X, and uh, it will map the value you give here to constrain it between two values. And if it's lower than A, it's uh, it's gonna return zero. If it's higher, it's gonna return one. And all the values between are just interpolated in a, a bit smooth way on the edges. So in my case, I want I think I want to do something like that. But that, okay. That is not 50 line, why? Right? I 
Let's swing on. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is really a great idea. I mean, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit random. Okay, so maybe we want more. I think we want to have a different values, and then having a different length. That's real. Oh boy. I don't remember how to ban someone, but Just clear it. Okay, maybe some Berlin noise again to just have some variation. But yeah, I don't think it's really interesting what I'm doing right now, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure, it's too late. It's too late now, it's almost 1 a.m. I think I'm gonna be leaving soon. <laughs> but maybe with some, uh, yeah, maybe with some early noise can be interesting. Too much, but who knows? <laughs> I like it, not exactly that, but it's a good start. But we need the dragon to be seen, to be more visible, to be more. Obvious, so I don't know what to do, but you can increase it. Maybe it should really just rotate on one direction, and then the parallel noise will do the reverse. It's, it's still a bit abstract, it, it, but it's great in a way uh, that it's abstract. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? Why? Oh, yeah, okay. It 
rotates so fast that it's just doing a circle and that will be uh, horrible for the pen because it will just, just do a lot of like a circle for, uh, for like 10 times I just need to configure my can you just go to next line please <laughs> Why is it so slow? Don't take that much time to compile. It's really my computer is really having a time to stream. Send to the plot machine. <laughs> combine the, the the streams. Screen sharing. All right, so. Okay, so what should I do to make that better? Mm. Maybe I should multiply everything by that. that uh, okay so I think we want a bit of it but not too much so maybe we could multiply it here and then it's just a bit and this one is higher I'm just gonna call that K1, K2. Nice. Yeah, it's too, it's too heavy on this. Just gonna show again the camera to show where it's at. So 
we can see on the pen the, the, the color has accumulated on the pen. <laughs> the ink. So yeah, that's that's why it's hard to 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 properly master because it has some uh, some of this problem. And you can see here. You can see some defaults here because he's, it actually passed too much time and removed the, removed the ink. Yeah, yeah, we have this problem. a bit <laughs> yeah it's I think I should pause and yeah like clean it because <laughs> it's pretty bad right now uh, yeah I cannot do it problem is I cannot pause that's the limitation of this uh, soft What if I increase that now? I wonder what will happen if you actually plot that. I guess you need to use a a pen that supports uh, not a white pen <laughs> but a dark pen I think it could work but here I'm not sure about the effect itself There's not a lot of uh, length. Okay, so there's a balance.
then at some point it will start going backward because when it uh, when it when it goes in the middle then it will start uh, the angle will be reversed so the angle will go left instead of right and it follows essentially the reversed uh, yeah the flipped the, the x flipped uh, vector field that's essentially how it works I'm going to return two values, the angle and the length. What is the length? Yeah, like the length should, uh, the length of the line should be smaller when there is no color. So I guess I can give the color itself yeah uh, so it's a value from 0 to 1 and it's like we multiply by So as soon as we have a line that is break, yeah. Okay. Much better. But, uh, I actually wonder what what does that looks like in a, with some of these gel pens when you do this these small lines I don't know how it will handle that uh, okay I think I preferred before when it was turning a bit randomly so 
so yeah, I think I should do that again. Maybe. Wow, five hours into this stream. Live coding for five hours. Yeah, that's quite a lot. It's a bit weird. Yeah, it's dark here, so... <laughs> Let's check. Let's draw a dodge. Much better than uh, I did. A, I did a similar one the other day. simple stuff. Uh, I think I should stop now. Yeah. 
I like it enough. Uh, I think it's uh, it's gonna be a, an experiment regarding the pen because I don't know how it will look like in uh, real. And actually, one of these pens which have a, a brush, as yes, I like this version. I don't know if you see it. We have a brush. It's like, it's like actually a, it can do some, uh, some different size. So yeah, I don't know. Could give something interesting. So definitely too much light for the white here because uh, or we need to I would have to implement a better algorithm to not go to the same lines because then uh, it's removing some ink. I need to remove inks like that. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm gonna save that uh, and plot it tomorrow. I think I'm two days uh, I'm two days late, by the way, so I I can release some of these as well. Uh, and yeah, I think. So just, uh, I think I, I'm done in two minutes, I'm gonna finish my stream. So thanks everyone for watching it. Just a small recap of what I did uh, in this uh, five hours of live coding and uh, live plotting. Uh, first of all, my, my goal was to, was, to, was to live code something and then straight away start plotting and then during the plotting be quick enough to do a new uh, live coding to for the next plot. Unfortunately, I didn't really, I wasn't really fast enough to do that, but uh, still managed to get some plotting at the same time. Um, so, in five hours, I did four different plots. One at the beginning was a, as a kickstart, uh, was a simple uh, parametric function. And I used two colors. So as a result, I plot it and it's here. So it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I was a bit uh, heavy on the, on the bolt for the, for the, for the numeric, numeric version. It was just for debugging. But anyway, on, on the real version, it's like that. Oh, by the way, I have a, a green background, so that's why we, we have some weird effects here. Then second plot was really abstract. It's actually the dragon. <laughs> Same dragon image, so it's here. Then we have the third plot, which I'm drawing right now. Uh, actually, we had. I have selected four versions of it. So this one was actually interesting. I didn't draw it yet. Or maybe it's the one I'm drawing right now. No, it's not. 
The one I'm drawing right now is this one. And I have selected two others. The one, this one, I, I have drawn it, uh, but it was a bit disappointing. Where is it? I don't even know. I threw it away. Right here. So yeah, I, I don't really like it. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's still okay. So blue, blue on uh, blue on pink. And I have no more battery for my camera, but I, it's okay. And uh, yeah, to finish with is uh, when we just life code the dragon uh, with some uh, some small lines. So it's almost it's almost like a dot uh, rendering, but then we have lines when you use these colors, and the angle of the line is rotating based on the the color in the image. So yeah, not not that fancy, yeah. but anyway, that works. So I will try that. It's a, it's a bit an experiment to try what's going on with uh, doing some dots. I, I think that means I need to have a bold, pretty bold. Uh, pen so actually I think a, a, a sharpie will do it so maybe I will use one of these uh, sharpies it's like a permanent uh, marker and maybe in red because it's a dragon a red sharpie so I think I can do that and I will have to do it on a on, on a pretty heavy paper, so it doesn't. Uh, yeah, so it works. Anyway, thanks a lot, and see you later. And next time, I will buy uh, not uh, something to not have the battery problem. But uh, yeah, that was expected. Anyway, see you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>